Hey guys, I'm back for another week, but this week, um, I'm going to have a song to explain why I'm so happy to have the guest that I have. Tan isn't here this week again, so I have a special guest. Thank you guys for listening to last week's episode with Cortez. Y'all know I don't know what I be doing uh, on the technical shit that she has, but um, hey guys. What up? What's popping? If they don't sound familiar, can you tell everybody who you are? No. <laughs> Penny should already be moist right now. What? Nah, what's up? What's up? What's happening? It's your boy TJ. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on now. Nah, what's good? What's good? It's TJ. One half of the It's Better This Way podcast. That's if we still podcast. <laughs> we are. We just went on a, a hell of a long. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, hey, our last, our last episode was like uh, the last episode of Moesha. <laughs> yeah. It just ended. <laughs> yeah. What's that little girl in uh, the Family Matters that went upstairs and then come back down? Oh, uh, Judy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little Judy. But y'all still a podcast. Definitely. We are. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, this is EJ because I didn't say my name. And the, and the panties should be moist. I mean, if they not, I don't blame you. It has been a minute. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute. I mean, I can't just come in here, you know what I'm saying, thinking I'm finna wet, you know, wet threes and shit. Wait, what? I was talking, you know, since basketball on, I was just talking about basketball. Okay. With the, three, with the jumper. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm referencing, listen, I'm a little uh, inebriated, so I don't reference this going over my head. <laughs> hey, I know, I noticed that. I ain't say nothing when you trip, when you were sitting down. Yeah, I, I tripped sitting down. Well, you, when you was a, when you was sitting down, uh huh, you trip. Nigga, I'll make sure I didn't fall. <laughs> and, you, and you pretty much fell. Like, uh, <laughs> not a seat low as hell. <laughs> or, the, or what about the fact that she said, "Hey, I'm 39 minutes away." <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't nobody say that, man. We say 40, just around that much. <laughs> I just sent. I am blank and Apple did the rest. I wouldn't have ever typed in the minutes. I would have just typed in the time. Y'all would have known. Obviously, it wasn't 40 hours. Stop playing with me. <laughs> That's some shit that I do. Because I'd be like, yeah, I'm 37 minutes away. <laughs> I'll be there at, exact uh, I'll be there at 431. <laughs> I like it. I like, no, I like that, though. I like giving, like, exact time. Because they let you know how much time, like, you rounding up shit. It's, I mean, everybody's saying... Uh, Damn, okay. So I should have asked what I can and can't say before we started recording. <laughs> Hold on, what? <laughs> what, I mean? what did you say? What did yeah, you stumble on? I wonder what I mean. Everybody's single, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody's single. Yeah. Okay. So, especially if you're going over somebody's house, you want to know. I want to know exact time that you're going to be outside. Like, don't mm-hmm. round up. Now, on, on the cool, though, that, that whole, like, odd ass number uh-huh. to tell somebody I'm a beater uh-huh. like that shit might work cause we've been used to like 6 o'clock yeah. 6 30 mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying you take advantage of that yeah I'm like, oh shit I'll I be ready in 5 minutes with them but nah if you say <laughs> yeah, I, nah, I, I'm, I got time I'm, yeah. gonna be there, I'm gonna be there at 747 yeah oh shit <laughs> it's 730 now yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I if, like that if I give a time I'm still gonna be late though that's my problem why because that's I mean, like, shit be happening like that. But that's why you don't text until you're in the car. Like, I'll say I'm on the way when I'm in the car. I'm not going to say I'm on the way if I'm hopping in the shower. I guess I'm so used to saying that I'm already in the car when I'm in the house. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that's me. Are you serious? Like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm already in love. So, hey, tell me what you think. Well, never mind. You might not be a good example for this, bro, because you laid everywhere. <laughs> but I was, about here. To say, I was about to say, you can be on time for the date, like, if y'all meeting up somewhere. Mm-hmm. But when you're going over to a high, yeah, I'm, you going, I'm about 15 minutes behind, 20 minutes behind. Really? Yeah, Shit. that's cool. I'd be behind I'm, on I'm, dates. I'm giving you <laughs> extra time, actually. I don't to, like that. Because, like, I'm already... Shit, I know what you're coming over here for. I'm already, like... Ain't like you know, you just be thinking of shit. You, you just didn't put the you didn't put the play mix on and everything. Yeah, the, the play you you didn't set the mood. You didn't got and to. Got, and now she got to restart the song and Hell shit. Yeah, <laughs> like now nah, I want him to come, come on and hear nah, this I want shit him to right come here. In, yeah, he got to come in in this song. When, when he come in, this song got to be playing. So I gotta. You gotta be pause. on the second verse already. Hell yeah, and then you gotta look the candles. The candles and gone down because you done later than you said. Hold on. I people, might have fallen asleep. People don't understand this, but that, that's some real shit, bro. Because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't rewind that whole like. I didn't did that a quite a few times. Like, yeah, I want, I want, I want them to come. Like, oh yeah, they niggas jamming. I didn't did that, bro. 
Head ass. <laughs> I did that. But she gonna love this. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ain't that her favorite part too? Oh lord. What you be knowing too much? Hey, you got to. Hey, you got to ask questions. That is very toxic. You realize that? Oh, well, not. What I miss? What's yes, toxic? it is. Asking questions about her favorite song, which part she likes. That's toxic. It's toxic if you ain't trying to do nothing more. What you mean do something more? I'm finding out about her. We getting to know you. What did you say? To do what? Oh, what? come on. Sometimes I might just want to have the music playing just so you can be comfortable. No, that's what he said was he know who like what, what she likes. And it's important. So you saying you would rather me not know what you like? Come on now. Talk what to are we me. No, I'm saying what are we doing? But what we doing doesn't matter. It does. It very much so matters. Because we can do that or we can do this. <laughs> like real talk because it's my main priority is getting to know you. But who why you are, as a human being. are you getting to know me? Why? Same reason why you getting to know me. I, you ain't trying to marry me right now. M- maybe. But I feel I feel like that's the question is what I'm getting to. What are we doing? We getting to know each other. And whatever happens in the process okay. of getting to know each other All right. happens. All right. That's real talk. Okay. I mean, niggas, you ain't fucking, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't seen them, you ain't text them in, in about two weeks. Ain't who? Ain't text them? Yeah. Why am I texting them? Text, call? I mean, I don't know. What you do? You, you a FaceTime? I talk to my niggas. It's <laughs> toxic. What? You, how? You just said, I talk to my niggas. How is that not toxic? I, I didn't say it. I didn't say it wasn't. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> no, well, where are you, where are you getting at, though? The same point you was getting at. I'm not getting to know you everybody. You put caramel in there? Which one is that one? The chocolate chip. No, it's not caramel in there. It's just nice and buttery because I brown the butter because I'm good like that. Okay. Ow. Um, Okay, so we're going to do a song. All right. Okay. Do you have a song? Who wants to go first? Because I know. You seem like you know your song from like, from from the mind. I'm actually, you, yeah, you saw me looking up. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually trying to think. think you go first. You go first. Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. I should I have to look my shit up. Okay. Hold on. All right. I'm ready. Okay. Open your heart and let me pour my love inside of you. <laughs> you make me feel like living and breathing again. I want to touch you. Don't say no. Just say yes. Okay, is it Avant? Isaac, brother? No, Avant? Avant. Yes, don't say no. Oh, wow. I would Just have never gotten yes. that unless you had said that. Hmm. You know, the Isley Brothers, I was kind of thinking it was old school at first, but I wasn't sure. That's because I wasn't really listening. I was trying to find my shit, and I just came in on the last part. Or is it because it's Isley Brothers playing? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, that's, that's something here, dude. You just guessing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pick the song is playing in the back. That's lazy as fuck. Bro, you, <laughs> bro, is that me? Nobody, <laughs> am I that guy? I didn't say you was lazy, but nobody wouldn't even got that because <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe that's me. <laughs> is, is my go? You can, you can go or I can go. Oh, no, you, you go. I want my baby. To have your eyes. Be crit. Oh, never mind. I want my eyes. That's, that's all I need to Drake. To. Uh, can yeah. I get the second verse? Oh. <laughs> Dang. Okay. I don't, don't want to go no more. <laughs> oh, why? Because <laughs> I got it right? <laughs> what song is it? I know it's oh, Drake. I it. what, what was the Finesse? Yeah. yeah. We say I want my baby to what? I want my baby to have your eyes. Okay. Hey, bro. I just started. My bad. Finesse by who? Who's that? Drake. Drake. Jersey. Your brethren. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, now. <laughs> All right. Now I'm out. It was good, though. I appreciate y'all. Okay. okay. I'm out. I don't even know if y'all know these lyrics, but I like this song. So, anything for my baby, I do some crazy things. So, whatever he want, he can get that. Long as I like, we can hit that. Hoes, we don't love them, no. Soon as we done, she leaving right out the dough. Megan? No, it's R and B. Janae? No. Okay. It's some new R and B because the, the new R and B, them niggas don't care nothing about them. Niggas. If you can keep a fr- our freaky secret down on the low, we can have a special thing going on. Whoa, y'all ain't gonna get it. It's okay. It's three way by Tiana Taylor. 
And I specifically picked that song because I told Tan, <laughs> I'm with two niggas. <laughs> it's not a train. <laughs> it's a threesome. <laughs> so thank you guys yeah. for joining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to uh, go ahead and segue into some R&B right now. Yeah. Uh. Okay, I'm going to just do the intro, but since Tan isn't here. Okay, so we're back. This is Tim. This is me. <laughs> and we're going to the Hear You podcast. Hey, best friend, I need a blessing. <laughs> I don't like doing, like, it's just, you, you know how it is. When, well, you don't know how it is. You know how it is when your partner don't show up. Yeah, that shit was rough. I'm not show up, but like, you know, it isn't there. And y'all are two people. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> ah, that shit was rough. <laughs> Hey, all right, let's provide some context. All right. what? So we, we we had a podcast, and I couldn't make it to the podcast, and I didn't know I couldn't make it to the podcast mm-hmm. until I couldn't make it to the podcast. Mm-hmm. And EJ did the whole thing by himself, and uh, <laughs> we had guests in this. Mm-hmm. Thing, so. Yeah, and again, the guests the guest we had, you know, My I dog was, was struggling. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I, I edit. I still put like the music on and everything, and just listening to it, <laughs> like shit. I was like, I gotta be there next week. I was like, so how, how was your day? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, uh, at first, what's your favorite color? No, at first it was like TJ gonna be here and uh, he running behind, and then yeah, like I said that on the show because that, that's that's what I got. Uh, Even towards the end, he was like, <laughs> if TJ get here, <laughs> like nigga. He ain't it's coming. about an hour of the show. Like, if he, he ain't here. coming. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga ain't coming. Oh, man. It's cool, though. Nah, but you know how it, it just feels room. weird when the person that you do it with isn't there. So, right. All right. So, you kind of. side of the bed type shit. Facts. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> All over my side. But, All over my side. <laughs> but, okay. So, we have some ground rules. If we can hear from which. It's going to be kind of hard to hear and hear, but if we hear your phone, you have to read your text message or answer the call live. Okay. That's okay. Right. And then um, you guys know how we do 100 rounds, so it's basically just the concentration. We'll go all the way around until whoever is out. We don't have any drinks, so we do shots, but... I brought some Elijah Craig. Yeah, I know. need a cup, though. I want to get <laughs> some of that. Round. I at least want a shot. You want a cup? Okay. But... No. Just put, put some in my hand. Right? <laughs> no, like, don't drive the boat. Drive the boat. <laughs> like, I ain't got my license, bro. I don't need. I ain't got it, man. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> okay, so a hundred rounds. Joe Budden. Pump it up. Quit. Loving hip hop. Spotify. A rapper. Tahiri. Rory Bald headed Mal Light skin <laughs> From New York Eminem He's not from New York <laughs> I'm out <laughs> <laughs> That shit was that funny <laughs> 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 well, I thought I was right No cause you just like shit like Well shit <laughs> I don't know <laughs> yeah, Okay We can end right there so actually, Joe has been in the news a lot lately from leaving Spotify to his back and forth with Charlemagne. But even recently, to hear you alleged abuse with Joe Budden. I don't know if you guys seen that or not. Have y'all seen it? I heard about it. I didn't see her version of it though. So she did talk about it. Let me see if I can. Dang, I should even. I should have Bluetooth. Let me see if I can do Bluetooth real fast so you guys can hear what she said. And who said something? Tahiri. So Tahiri was his ex girlfriend, um, and they were together for a long, long time. But they actually, he proposed to her on Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. If I don't, and I think she Did said she no. no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you feel like if you say no, the relationship's over? Are we done? For real? We're done so. I'm Hell out. yeah. Well, why are you staying? Yeah. I, I'm not ready for the the. I'm not ready for everything else. That mean you're not ready for who I am, sweetheart. No, I'm ready for you. I'm just not. Marriage is a commitment. It is. So is a relationship. N- but I'm not ready for that type of commitment now. Well, of course you, you, you're going to have to get ready for the next nigga. 
Yeah. <laughs> this one is done. <laughs> really? No, that's facts. Really? Yeah, I'm out. I'm okay. thousand. So would you rather me say yes and just have a long engagement if I'm not sure yeah. already? Yeah, let's do that. You re- you sa- it's saving face, though. You want to save face. Do you know niggas be married or well, engaged by five, seven plus years? Yeah, look, look. some niggas do. And, and and the only reason why they, they they do get engaged or they do get engaged because of the female, I feel like. Because so she won't leave? Well, because that's what she want. You know, like mm-hmm. like some women be like, you know, what are we doing? You know, when you get that shit, yeah. like either either you gonna we gonna get married, we're gonna get engaged in the mm-hmm. next year or so, or I'm gone. And the dude be like, you know what, she a good woman. I you know, I propose but So you no feel like telling. most of the time it's pressure? Yeah. I feel like a lot of times it's pressure. Uh, I don't. Feel, you can't pressure nobody to do something they don't want to do. But it happens. I mean, uh-huh. when people stay in relationships when they necessarily don't want to be in them, mm-hmm. but they have other obligations or shit happens that they feel that they need to stay in a relationship, so they do. Here's another so, thing. So you're saying a kid, but not saying a kid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, it's like. I don't know if you know what it takes for a man to propose. I don't. It's because it's not natural for him. He don't it, to propose. Niggas ain't looking towards getting married. You don't see no five year old boys wanting to get married. Wanting to get married. He, he's playing with dogs. He, not dogs, but he's playing with action figures. Yeah. yeah. He's playing video games. He is not looking forward to that. So for him to muster up everything that's in him. Mm-hmm. To put a nice suit on, mm-hmm. take her to a fancy restaurant, mm-hmm. and for him to do some shit that he really don't necessarily want to do. He just want to make her happy. Mm. You know? And she says, no? <laughs> Fuck out of here. I oh, didn't want to do that shit anyway. Save <laughs> 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 me. Yeah. But I think also it's the it's important. Of <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Would you cry, though? You said what? Hmm? Would you cry? No. 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 Look, Yo, things- especially nowadays. <laughs> I, cry. I ain't getting married no more. Really? You said no more. <laughs> I mean, you, but you planned the whole thing. I don't know. So I've been proposed to and I said no. But. You stayed with you? Yes. But I told him. For how long? Uh, for like. A couple months. Two weeks? No, nah, it, was a, it was a while. I, I ended it though. But the like. And you dumped him. <laughs> But no, I didn't. I told him, we had a conversation about it, and, I, and he's like, What do you do if I ask you to marry me? I was like, I'm not ready yet. Don't do it. So we had had a conversation about it already. That's different. Yeah. That's it different. Is. That's it his is. fault. That's his That's fault. That's his fault. I don't think niggas should get to propose if he don't already know her answer, by the way. But I don't see how niggas be doing it. I feel like he thought he knew the answer. Because, how, because of realistic, well, not realistically, but most women do want to get married. So it's not rare for one to be like, I'm not ready. So maybe he, I don't know, I felt like he thought I was going to say yes once he's he definitely did. bought a ring. But let me see if I can connect to what Tahiri said that happened with her. Um, oh, y'all can hear shit. Relationship left me with a fractured rib. Uh, a broken nose because somebody was sending him a message. And, and I used to always say, you'll stop beefing out there. Oh, I'm out there still working. Um, and he hit me on that nose and then pushed me down a flight of stairs. I remember having to talk him out of letting me go that day. I remember having a plan to leave because the reason why he was so upset was because I was already leaving. Um, you know, that relationship left me with a fractured rib. Okay, so that was what she had said. So, Joe... How long ago did she say that? Okay, so this... Is, I don't know why this is all coming out now because I, I, this isn't new. Have you heard of this before with yes. Joe Bonatieri? So I've okay. heard it too, and she's told her story before, so I'm not sure why it's coming out now. But he said that she was abusive to him. Alleged here. Oh. You said what was alleged here. Let me start with this young lady is a liar, a cancerous, toxic liar. I'm uncertain why she's lying this way I'm not certain if she is misspeaking if she has a false recollection of things I'm not sure what it is but she says some things that didn't sit right with my soul we're talking about 24 and 25 year old Joe 25 year old 26 year old you 
Okay. So he actually went on a lot. But what he basically ended up saying was that they were both toxic to each other. So you can take whatever you want from that. But how do y'all feel about hearing things like that from Joe? Because he's been very um, vocal about domestic abuse before on his show and things like that. So Did he... Did he, it, he said the whole thing was a lie, right? Because I feel like I heard that, uh-huh. and I said, I think I, I think I heard him say that she got hit by another dude, mm. but she blamed it on him. I was listening to his podcast this morning, and that's what he was saying. So Tan is a Joe Budden podcast listener. I'm not. Right. <laughs> I looked at the clips, but I don't know if he ever said that or not. What he basically said was that they were both toxic towards each other, though. Right. So from what I gathered from that is that <clears throat> they used to hit each other. He, yeah, yeah, they each other. used to fight her. He hit her, and she hit him, and all that shit. So, how do you guys feel about, like, that, like, we were both toxic towards each other, like, statements like that and all that stuff? I think you attract what you are. Mm. Everybody. I think a lot of people overvalue themselves Mm -hmm. and act like they this and that. Why am I attracting this type of man? Why am I attracting this type of woman? Because you that motherfucker. Mm. You that, too. Ooh. You that as well. So uh, it makes sense Mm -hmm. for two people who are toxic towards each other Mm -hmm. uh, to be in a relationship together for a while. So uh, I hope he didn't hit her, though, man. I I hope that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Would you start listening to him, though? uh, Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Here's the thing. I mean, you had a a conversation about the R. Kelly thing. I'm one of those guys who who can separate the art from the fault. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you know the information... You can't even think about the freaking song or the movie that's playing without mm-hmm. hearing the fucking story. So mm-hmm. anytime that I would hear Joe Button, let's just say, for instance, he did it. Anytime his podcast comes on, I'm like, damn, that nigga really hit her, though. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. not that I'm trying to be like, oh, social justice warrior. Mm-hmm. I don't I can't listen to him anymore. It's not about that. It's more mm-hmm. so like, damn, that nigga really on the podcast chopping it up. But he hit women. Well, I think she had said something before, like, um. He had sat on her chest or something, and also he was found hiding under her bed at one point. It was like a a, wow. a lot. Damn, I'm like this is sound like, <laughs> sound like, sound like for me 2000, 2011. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Some shit here like you that. Go. You can <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What was you for to say, DJ? I was about to say uh, a couple of different things. Um, I've been in a toxic relationship mm-hmm. to where I was I was one of the toxic people like like T said mm-hmm. <clears throat> like to- toxic people find each other it it's, it, it it really just happens it's, mm-hmm. it's the energy mm-hmm. um, you attract who you are and I that was with my second ex removed <laughs> from now mm-hmm. uh, so yeah it was. It wasn't good. Did he you said my second next twice removed. Is that uh-huh. I said, I said now removed. X and lock. <laughs> now removed. <laughs> Just now. Okay. Shut up. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't mean it like that. <laughs> okay. You be so literal with shit, I'm man. Good. I'm just saying. <laughs> you be so li- like. I be That's like, what man. you said. Okay, continue. You, you forgot what you was gonna say. Nah, I got it. Okay. Okay. But what I was saying though. <laughs> Now, you've been in a toxic relationship with yeah. you know. yeah, yeah, man. Uh, so yeah, so I. It's not good, like like real talk. What do you mean? Um, like being in a toxic relationship, but the, I feel like what's worse is you not knowing that you're toxic. Mm-hmm. You know, like some people try to like underplay certain things mm-hmm. or like ignore mm-hmm. or they'll start up shit when and when you're the problem mm-hmm. you know so i feel like it's better when you know you are toxic and the other person know you're toxic because they're accepting of your toxicness but when you're not aware that you're being toxic mm-hmm. or that you have these toxic traits it's it's confusing because you'll blame the other person when uh-huh. it's really you so when you were in a toxic relationship did you know you were toxic Um, I started to probably not in the beginning, mm-hmm. you know, because my shit really like I feel like my the energy came from her. What do you mean? I'm I'm about to get into it. Okay, so the toxicness energy came from her, and I remember she she was depressed, and 
and I and all these negative energies that I wasn't used to, mm-hmm. um, they started to to be in me. You know, like mm-hmm. I remember, like one, it was one time she uh, she was away, and I was just I was just down for no reason. I'm like, why the fuck am I down? Mm-hmm. But being around energy so long and accepting it, mm-hmm. it, it gets in you. So, and I had talked to somebody. I forgot who I, who I had talked to when I had figured it out. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking to them and things, and like the, I don't want to say hatred, but like the, the, the frustrations from the whole relationship. Mm-hmm. I adapted that in, into who I was. Instead of just leaving, mm-hmm. I stayed in it, mm-hmm. and it's just. I'm a whole bunch of blaming and shit. So I just started doing like spitefulness shit and mm-hmm. just petting and shit. When you started doing that, was it to leave? Cause nah. I, I feel like, okay, now I might be wrong, but I feel like men are nice to an extent and they don't tell you that they want to leave, but they do stuff to make you leave. Do you think, I mean, I just feel like men are just, they try to be nice and they don't want to, yeah, cause they like, want you to do it. We've been taught our whole lives, don't break her heart. Mm-hmm. It ain't that many songs about don't break his heart. Right? Mm-hmm. It ain't that many movies about the shit. Ain't mm-hmm. no songs. Fuck about- him, girl. Yeah. Get that head, get that bread, and leave. Really? That, that, that's what we listen to. Mm-hmm. Your mom your mom and your dad teach you the same thing. Respect the ladies, pull out the trash for, open the door for. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, even when it comes to relationships, yeah, niggas stay in that relationship because, mm-hmm. uh, damn, I don't want to make her cry. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I have no idea why it makes sense. But everybody, we, we love quoting this shit. I have no idea why this line from Baby Boy makes sense. I lie to your ass because I love your ass. That's my favorite part. I, I swear I, to God, that's my favorite movie. I, I know, I know. <laughs> women hate that line, but we hate that line. We uh-huh. hate the fact that we like it. <laughs> you, you, hate, you hate the fact that it's true. Yeah, like we, I, I, can't, ass. I can't even explain why this is accurate information right now. You know it what I'm saying? Is. So I'm out here telling these hoes the truth because I don't care about it. Who gives a fuck? So yeah, we we don't, don't want to break nobody hard, man. I mean, it's the truth. I don't care about you. That's what that sounds like. I forgot what you were even saying, though, before that. Oh, I don't remember. It's okay. What were you saying, though? I don't want to talk about that shit. <laughs> I already, let, it slide. I already let, let a lot of shit out. I'm, I'm you just say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it does come out that Joe did this, you wouldn't feel any different? You still listen? Well, you don't really. Do you listen to Joe Budden podcast? Not like that. I listen to Drink. Well, I don't even listen. I watch Drink Champs more. But it's just like I'm. Wait, is he on Drink Champs? No. Nah, so where they even? Co- <laughs> I was oh, talking about podcast. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm. To me, I mean, I have no emotional ties. Like I'm very. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a very distant um, personality, so I'm able to just that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. So I'm. I'm like the, I remember when um, you said that when when the whole zero thing came out, you said I'm done listening to this nigga. Oh, that was like, hard. I was like, what, why? Just Britney? That thing, or I, I think that was her name. Yeah, that was her name. Yeah, she, she rapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, like I heard the audio. I was like, Damn. <laughs> that that was hard because I actually love zero, and yeah. I heard that too, and I was like, damn. And I've heard stories about him before. Some girl. This girl I know fucked him, and she's like, he takes pills and he cleans all night. That's all he do, and he goes to the studio. He cleans all night. He cleans all night. He takes. And he's very paranoid, but like, and knowing that, and then hearing audio that makes sense. So I, I mean, that hurt too. Yeah. Where are we going with zero though? He was just talking about separating the art. Oh, from yeah. The, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I have. I mean, because if I'm, I just listen to him, mm-hmm. you know. But I haven't listened to Ro that much. Um, but I don't feel like it's it's because of what happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, because I still listen to we were talking about that earlier. Like mm-hmm. I still listen to R. Kelly. Fuck that. Ain't oh, no stop me from talking listen, to Rob, listening to Rob. Hold your horses. We getting there. Okay. We getting there. You want to finish whatever else about Zero? That's it. Nah, that's it. Okay. So hundred <laughs> round. <laughs> Who you say? I don't even like saying this man's name. So hundred round. R. Kelly. I'll start off first. Pedophile. Step in the name of love. <laughs> Half on a baby. Prison. GP2. <laughs> <laughs> Why you shit, nigga? <laughs> it, it will be. Then, uh, King R&B. Inmate number. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> 12 play. Convict. <laughs> <laughs> Jail bars. <laughs> Chicago. Felon. 
shit, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> That's it. Okay, that wasn't bad. I, listen, I do not, I cannot separate R. Kelly from the music. And honestly, I don't care what happened to the niggas. So his attorneys say that he was attacked in uh, jail by a fellow inmate, and they were calling him for his release. He got stabbed with a knife, right? Did he get stabbed? I just he did. Okay, his uh, he did not sustain any injuries, and the X-ray did not oh. reveal any fractures. <laughs> but his it's attorney a, but, said, but it took that long though." His attorney said on Twitter, uh, "The conflicting reports about what's happened." They haven't been provided with any information from the jail, nor Mr. Kelly has called. We hope that he's not seriously injured. So I don't even know if that nigga dead or whatever, I guess. This is what they're saying. But honestly, I feel like whoever it was, <laughs> y'all should have left him a little longer. <laughs> like, if you saw Al Kelly get his ass beat, you probably be like, damn, that's time for my lunch break. <laughs> and just leave that nigga. Hey, nah, you know what would be fucked up, though, if the story was invert in reverse? What? Like, the nigga tried to attack R. Kelly, but R. Kelly had them hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, he was trying to be heroic. Hell yeah, I got beat up. Man, like, bro, what happened, like, man? from Chicago. Come on now. Like, bro, what happened, man? That nigga can fight, man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga stepped in the name of love all over my face. You see this? Am I bleeding? <laughs> That nigga grabbing me, bro. Look at my shirt. Hey, hey y'all niggas in the help? <laughs> y'all niggas in the help? Why? Damn. But you know what? I'm, I cannot separate R. Kelly from his music. And we were talking about that in the group earlier. How this nigga still listens to R. Kelly and can't listen to R. Kelly. I, every time I hear R. Kelly, I just imagine he wrote that about a, a, a underage girl. He wrote that about my daughter. That's how, that's how I honestly think about it. See, I don't go that far. I don't think he wrote the song about young girls. I don't think he did that. You don't think do it seemed like you ready? Do I think he was fucking with some young girls? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I think that nigga was. Real? You really? So, so I, I default him on that. Uh-huh. Not necessarily what his motivation was behind the song. Age ain't nothing but a number. That wasn't even his song. That was he, the he song he gave to his yeah. underage wife. <laughs> You're right. That was willing. It's not right. What? Okay, so it's not say, right. But so can we say that's the same motivation for Pretty Pretty Ricky who did that same song? It ain't nothing but a man. Maybe, but niggas fuck with R. Kelly. Niggas fuck with R. Kelly. With you. I mean, you can remix any R. Kelly song and the niggas still gonna fuck with it for the most part. You ain't gotta remix it. <laughs> I, I've never gotten. I felt like when Pretty Ricky was singing "Age Ain't Number," the number I felt like they were talking to me, and we were felt like we were the same age. The same. We that the same age. Sense. How does it not make sense? Age ain't nothing but a number, and y'all's the same. Y'all the same age. I'm okay. I think right. I didn't feel like he was talking to a younger girl. He was talking to an older woman. That's, that's how I felt. So it's like. A, a older woman can fuck with a younger a younger dude and it's okay. As long as they're over eighteen, I don't care who you fuck. R. Kelly wasn't fucking bitches, uh, uh, women, girl. <laughs> look, look, see? Yeah, come R. On Kelly now. wasn't fucking girls over eighteen. That's the whole issue. I think see, this this this, this what gets me in trouble. I only hold people accountable for what can be proven. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you, you never heard me talk about the shit. Like you know when when, when cops be shooting black niggas and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, you never heard me say, I bet if it was a white guy, he wouldn't have. Mm-hmm. That situation had, hadn't happened, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, for me to even make that comparison yet. So mm-hmm. I never would say that R. Kelly was writing the damn songs <laughs> about 15 year old girls. I'd never say that. But have there been women that came out and said, yeah, that nigga was fucking. And, I, and I'm and pretty, and I'm sure that if he was messing with the young, the young ladies, he told them that, hey, I wrote this song about you. I used to do that shit when I was a rapper. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I just met that chick last week. How I come up with all song? Oh, okay. Already? But you, so you're lying. Yeah. Hey, niggas lie. What was your rap name? So a nigga, <laughs> our, fuck our killer, bro. <laughs> fuck that nigga, our killer, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask uh, what was the song called that you? Wait, uh, you performed it? I don't. I don't think so. It was uh, it was called My Sexy Baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, come on now. 
Come on. Tell him to shut up, bro. Bro, did I? I don't think I knew this. You said you didn't know this. I don't think I knew this, bro. Yeah, Sean, Sean has something to hook. Say, bro, you need you need to chill out, man. Come on, dog. Say, bro. Hey, what's the name of the song again? My sexy baby. <laughs> Really, bro? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Y'all wow. niggas ain't shit, bro. bro. Wow. Y'all niggas ain't is that shit. How you, is that how you be flirting with them, too, bro? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I used to Come do back in the day. That my, shit used to work. I my sexy son. baby. <laughs> Like she, like she make your play, you be like, thank you, my sexy baby. My nigga would start singing a song. Say, <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all sent up her laughing with that whole jam, oh, though. Did it? Yeah, You still jam. have it? I don't. That's somebody, like, no, I don't. Somebody got it, you don't think? You don't remember it? You remember it. What's anyway, let's, what's let's, let's get we, back to the show. Words? And my sexy baby. <laughs> let's go ahead and get back to the show, man. <laughs> I got tears of, I got tears about Bro all I said Was my sexy baby bro Y'all niggas dying Like what <laughs> That's a funny title bro You sound like They sound like the uh, The niggas that be in your DMs <laughs> Oh Hey get my up My sexy bro. baby Get up bro Sexy sure. baby angel DMs wasn't even popping back then that, I think this is still My space days Okay Well R. Kelly got beat up um, they still he's he's tried everything to get out of prison. He's tried COVID. Uh, I want to say he tried his finances, being that he's a breadwinner. That why he needs to be out and make money and all that stuff. And now he got beat up, and that's another. Should that, I be trying everything too? I want to be in jail. They're not letting the nigga out. R. Kelly is not getting out. What was his time that they gave him? They didn't get, he's not even missing his yet. He ain't been to trial. Yeah, he ain't been to trial. He ain't been to trial. Damn, he just in there. He in jail, no bond. Yeah, he just in there. Because the nigga's a danger to society in itself. Damn. <laughs> He'll get out and do the same thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that nigga, what's it called when you do that? Uh, not freak. Like, I, I can't think of the word. Habitual. Yeah. He's an habitual offender. But how, but how come he won't be charged with double jeopardy, though? Because he's a new charges. New charges. You, if you kill oh, some, you, you, can't, you can't kill the same person twice. He ain't served him. I got it. No, it's different. It's different women than it was then. Okay, so how, how y'all feel about this? How y- how y'all feel about the fact that nowadays we just said fuck the courtroom? Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you you held on trial on Twitter now. Mm-hmm. How y'all feel about that? Do y'all think that's fair? Like like for the whole Tory Lane situation, everybody mm-hmm. like this. Need, he need to come out and say something about it. He need to come out and speak about it. Mm-hmm. I think even though I, I think he fucked nigga for doing what he did, but at the same time, I think it's best for him to shut the hell up. About, I don't even think Megan should have said anything. You have to keep that information for the trial. I, I think at one point it wasn't going to be a trial, maybe because she hadn't said anything. About to be one now. It definitely is. I think the DA was pursuing something, but I, I feel like it got to a point with their situation though that every time Megan posted a picture or said, "What's your feet? How are you? Did you get shot? Did Tori do it?" Like I feel like at one point it had it had to be a lot. Now I can see why you would say that, but. I mean, too many people telling you you need to say something, so it's just like. But but at the end of the day, who? Why am I protecting him? If he if she protecting him, then I feel like it's something more. What do you mean? It's something more that happened. You know what I'm saying? Like it may it may not be. I mean, my nigga. Niggas, <laughs> 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 fifteen seconds. <laughs> I should have had y'all face the other way. I don't even know where I was going with that, but but basically, like, is it cool to have like to crucify people the way we do now? Yeah. Before they even went to the courtroom with the situation, it's not fair. It's I don't think it's fair. Niggas was ready to hang Trey Songs last week, but I feel yeah. like for so long things have gone unanswered that this is like. This is there's no middle right now. There was a nobody says shit. Now it's everybody say something and you're crucified. But eventually we'll get to a middle. But I feel like it has to be like that for a little bit. Like this, word. 
I mean, I, granted, now I know it ain't no way to stop it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With mm-hmm. social media, as it, fun as mm-hmm. it is, you know, you got to mix the bit in with the sweet. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we use it for activism, but you also can get these jokes. Mm-hmm. And we're going to also, you know, use it to desecrate your name as well. So mm-hmm. uh, it is what it is, but damn. Like, I'll be listening to some of this shit be like, damn, can we let that shit go to court first or whatever? I mean, but, but I don't know. I We said this in a group earlier. Like, there is can, cancel culture is of course really big right now, but I feel like you you just gotta like who you like and, and stand in it. So whether this nigga keep listening to R. Kelly, you know what I'm saying? Whether you listen to Joe Button, I still listen to Doja Cat. Like only person got to answer for that is is me. And, but, I, and here, here, what? Here's the thing though. Okay, we listen to rappers talk about drugs all fucking day. Mm-hmm. I got an uncle that's on drugs. <laughs> okay, like <laughs> nigga was out here. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? So like. That shit really affected my family. Mm, so just gotcha. like, so just like, uh, you know, somebody can say, you know, uh, somebody can make a, a line about rape mm. or, or child abuse mm. or somebody peeing on women or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, let's put all the shit in there then. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We talking about selling drugs. That shit ain't cool either. Mm-hmm. Talk about niggas killing niggas every day. Mm-hmm. We can't talk about niggas killing niggas and then go scream Black Lives Matter. At the end of the day, and granted, I'm not one of them dudes that be like, "Oh, we gotta worry about us first. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, it's, it's not about that. It's mm-hmm. just right is right and wrong is wrong. Right is right is wrong is wrong. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm trying to say. But I mean, for the most part, though, uh, fuck, never mind. What? <laughs> what? You almost <laughs> no, there? No, no, no. I, I lost my thought. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't. There's you were right about Trey Songs. A lot has been said about Trey Songs recently. I didn't have nothing on on him or anything like that. But yeah. it's just funny. Like Kiki Palmer said the same thing, and like people were like, "Shut the fuck up! <laughs> stop, stop talking!" Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what happened with Trey? Um, so, was it Selena Powell, Black Widow? Someone accused him of sexual assault or something like that again. And you want, you want to know what's crazy about the whole sexual assault and, and rape shit? Mm-hmm. It's like anytime a woman says something that a man did, mm-hmm. he's done this, he's done that. Mm-hmm. Like it's like she's automatically believed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's really it's really hard mm-hmm. for me to believe. Women. Nobody, nobody believed Kiki Palmer when she said it. But apparently, if she if if it's if it's true, she's been a, telling the truth. That was a different time too. It was like three, four years ago. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember oh, how long. It, say three, four years I don't. Ago. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it was longer than that. But it was on the Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club ain't been what, ten. I, it's not been ten years, but it hadn't been that long ago since she said years? that. Oh, okay. All I'm saying is, ninety percent of women that's been on Maury said the dude was the daddy. Mm-hmm. And what happened? Well, that, well, that's not fair to equate that to with right though. I'm just saying, but but to me, it's 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 the same thing with a woman saying something. He's the father, or he sexually assaulted me, and that's not the same. He, but but it's it it's not the same act. It's not the same act. But what I'm using in the analogy is it's the same. You know what I'm saying? They saying he's the father, and it comes back. He's not. Are, that, are, are, are they saying that he sexually assaulted me for what reason? To to gain? You know what I'm saying? Whatever the shit might be. Well, first of all, one of them can be proven more realistically than the other can. So it's a more of a he say, she say type thing. And so it's not kind of the same. I get what you're trying to say, though, like, an accusa- like a false accusation or something like it's hard to believe. Or, you know, you hear so much that people maybe you know, say something and it not be true. I understand what you're saying with that, but that's mm-hmm. not a fair assumption to make. But I do feel like women have not always been believed, especially black women. Right. There are people like, you know, Bill Cosby. How long did it take for, and who was it that, you know, finally got the bottle and it was an older white woman that finally said something, but right. he assaulted plenty of women before then. So I don't think women are believed, especially if you have money and influence and status. Because Trey has enough money to, and honestly, when the first incident happened, it, you you kind of didn't hear nothing else about it. Like he said, it wasn't true. I yeah. think they settled. You didn't hear anything else about it. Yeah. So it's not the first time. Yeah, those situations where it's my word against yours is mm-hmm. always gonna be murky. But, so I don't know. It's it's. I do agree with you though. Mm-hmm. I do agree with you. You know, it's, it's just it's just kind of tough when you see people get. Nailed to the cross. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what happened yet. 
Mm. You know, I that, mean, that's I, the point that I'm speaking from. And I, I get that too. And I, I don't think it's fair because look, you're right. If if it's not true, then of course that person's image is kind of like tarnished. Yeah. Forever, but I understand what you're saying, though. Yeah. Somebody said I fucked in a Walmart bathroom. What? <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago. And you didn't? And I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't. But imagine if that word got around. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be as Walmart. You're going to know that you're in Walmart. I think you're fucking in Walmart bad. The Walmart fucker. Even if it wasn't true, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, what if that word got around? If, if it did, they they would have called you in the office. You know what I'm saying? Just based off of what Wait, you said. Oh, you were working there? Oh, yeah, I was working there. It was oh. a long time ago. A long, long, long time ago. Okay. And did you get in trouble? Nah, you didn't get around. Like It was just around like the coworkers and shit like that. Got you. Know, you. Got like, you. Damn, that, imagine. Them, niggas, them niggas lied on me too. What they say? I might have stole donuts and shit. But did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not a lie, you know. You but, I'm, but I'm just saying, though, word got around, but I'm like, nigga. I, like, they couldn't prove it. You know what I'm saying? Well, they, they had a nigga on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, I'm, okay, so can you tell me where the lie is, though? Well, no, I'm just saying, though, it's just like. They just told on you. Well, I'm just saying, like, the word, word getting around, but, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. It could have been inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but in this case, it was accurate. Did they fire you? Yeah. You were at Walmart? I was at Walmart, bro. I was working at Tom Thumb, me and Tan, and I used to steal everything. And they caught me on camera doing something. I stole a drink, drunk it, and put it back on the shelf. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> My attention. <laughs> <laughs> you, you licked some ice cream too, did you? Hell no, I would no, I, I would never do nothing like that. But my intention was to go back and get it, and that was my excuse on how I was going to say. Hell no, nah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and get it <laughs> at the end of the show. Niggas ain't not somebody to bought that shit. Hell no. That's how. No, I, if I ever got in trouble, that's what I was going to say. I did. Like I had put it back intending to buy it. Like I was going to go get my car. I don't know. But for some reason, they caught me on camera doing it, and I didn't get fired. So whatever I said worked. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so moving on. Um, I think we're gonna do a hundred rounds. Brandy. Full moon. Oh, it's on me. Okay. <laughs> um, he was thinking. Versus sitting on top of the world. Norwood. I don't know. <laughs> That's it. I don't know too much about Brandy, man. Moishi. Really? You could, you definitely could have said that. I mean, it didn't come to later. Okay, it's fine. So, of course, Brandy and I was gonna say Brandy and Moesha, Brandy and Monica had their verses, and it broke records of one point two million viewers. Yeah. Did you guys tune in? I chimed in a little bit. Mm-hmm. I was in there a little bit. bit. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stay in too long. I was pretty busy, but I did want to make sure I put that in the books that I was in here for a little bit, about right. ten minutes. Okay. What about you? I know you. Look, I listen to a lot of. R and B, yeah, yeah. I was I was in there. Um, I wasn't consistent. You uh-huh. know, I, I missed like the beginning, but I was pretty much like um, I think I heard like three um, Monica songs and maybe three to four Brandy songs. There was mm-hmm. one song uh, that Brandy played. I, I love that. Whole, I don't even know the name of it. Mm-hmm. I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find it. Mm-hmm. It was it was with right. a dude, a new album. I, I, I think was it was an older old. song. It was an Broken Hearted. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Broken hearted. Um, what you think about it? You liked it? What you saw? Um, I feel like Brandy did a. She, she did a bit like she. She was. You can tell she was there to have fun. Mm-hmm. She, you know, she living it up. She joking and, and Monica. You know, she. You know, to me, to me, she just being Monica. You know, she mm-hmm. distant and I and, and and all this shit. She, um, you know, short. Uh-huh. And a lot of shit, you know. I think that I saw something that said um, Brandy came for a friendship, Monica came for marketing, and that's what it looked like to me because they tried to. I don't know. They threw shade most of the night. I was in and out too. They threw shade most of the night. Um, but I, I miss what they was throwing shade about though. Um, at one point, uh, Monica played "So Gone" and something, and she said, "Sit." Kick down your door And Brandy's like Oh I know you do that Oh damn <laughs> Cause apparently Monica has slapped Brandy before <laughs> Or something like but that To me to, to me to, I don't know To me that's cool Like it's, it's a joke You know what I'm saying Like that shit happened Many years ago Like I forgave you For that shit I, like, I'm not forgiving nobody For slapping me 
I mean, but but if, if she did, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, we could joke like that, but not on live, nigga. Yeah, like keep that shit behind closed. No, 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 like, yeah, don't let nobody know that. But <laughs> I'm saying though, if 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 Monica joked like that, then that, to me that change that changes everything. You know what I'm saying? She would have joked about slapping her. Oh yeah, that, that yeah. changes everything. Yeah. But I get what she's saying. I can't joke about you slapping me, nigga. You oh, slap me. Okay, I thought it was the other way around. No, Brandy way. said something about it though. Oh okay, yeah, but, that's cool. I don't know. Well, don't. That's cool. I get it. Especially if, if that's not the type of. I don't think Brent, uh, Monica trying to have that image anymore. So if that's not the trying to image I'm trying to portray. I, I did hear that one part when um they would like Brandy was talking about somebody who helped her in the studio, mm-hmm. and she was talking about yeah he was talking about the money notes, and she was like oh he didn't tell you about the money note, and she was like nah you know what I'm saying I'm like oh, okay I, I see what we did there. It was almost like a, a one up, but this is the thing I realized about Brandy. Brandy is a me too. What you mean? Every time Monica said something, like mm-hmm. Monica said something like, oh yeah, I, I did this song when I was pregnant. I'm like, oh yeah, girl, I remember I was pregnant. Brandy, shut the fuck up. I was pregnant with twins at that time. <laughs> <laughs> I was pregnant with Ray J's bro- shit, I, I was pregnant, but I had a miscarriage. <laughs> <laughs> and then Brandy read all these poems and stuff, and it just felt, I don't like watching people like not like, that aren't jailed. I don't like, like I don't like yeah. stuff like that. It's very... Yeah. Like awkward to watch, yeah. Some shit like that. You, you know what I kind of feel like these versus battles are. Because mm-hmm. for a lot of them, you know, everybody say the same thing after each one of them. The culture one, uh-huh. the culture one, uh-huh. especially Eric about doing Jill Scott. You know what I think about them? I think it's more so. It's not about the two people that's going head to head on the actual versus show mm-hmm. battle. It's more so about. Them versus the next act or the previous act, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like You're talking about the two, the two people. Or are you talking yeah. about one particular person? The two people, like okay, they, they yeah. sitting there. It's kind of like because we brought in 1.5 million people to come sit down. Let's see what Rick Ross and Two Chains do. <laughs> Not that they didn't do that. <laughs> they didn't do that. I think but, the thing with them too is that that's something people have all like. So when the verses like has kind of first started, they were starting out there, and of course they both had said no in the beginning, okay. but. For the most part, on the verses, like there's been technical difficulties, but you feel like everybody else has had like a mutual respect for each other. Like right. yeah. we're fans of each other, music and all that stuff. I did not feel none of that <laughs> watching the Damn. verses. It was like I'm just here. Like Brandy was very, very friendly, very yeah. giggly. She was, she was there to have a good time. She man. was singing, you know, Monica's song. And I think at one point she was like, "You ain't singing none of my songs." <laughs> she said, <laughs> "Damn." <laughs> I was just shade being thrown back and forth all night. But you know, we've known Monica for a long time. But she, is she real social though? That she, might not even be her personality. And, that, and that's why I said like it's Monica to me being Monica. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like she's she's like like the tough. She's like a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm. She's just like tough and shit. Yeah, she, she was even short. <laughs> why you keep looking at me though? <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I can't <laughs> you ain't looking at me like that the whole time. You, <laughs> I think you're you reaching out, B. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, you like, just looked at me back and forth. Like the perfect scene for Monica was what she played on ATL on Waffle House. Y'all want anything else? Yes. So I, That's Monica. I feel like that, but I also feel like you would say Monica be friendly. I feel like Monica's friendly to friendly people, but like when she, I always feel like I said this in a group. Like Monica's like, if we beef, we'll beef from forever type thing. That's me too. Really? Really? You don't yeah. seem like it's like you seem like very forgiving. I, I can forgive if it's if it's something that's forgivable. Mm-hmm. You know, but, but if a nigga if if a nigga jumps you and you see him now, that's I, forgivable. That, granted, granted, I ain't, I ain't yeah, I've, I've been jumped. <laughs> 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 I've been jumped. <laughs> yeah. You know, but if, if the cast that that I had the a fight with ten years ago, it don't mean it's on site now. I'm thirty four years old. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna be to fight nobody right now. Mm-hmm. But. That don't mean I'm gonna walk up to you. Hey, man, what's up? Man? Yeah, nah, it ain't none of that either. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like he over there, I'm over here. But you we, say, ain't, we ain't you say what's up? Nah, you know what's up either. <laughs> if you say what's up, I, I be like, what's up, bro? <laughs> oh, I, really? I, I ain't gonna initiate the what's up, the what's upness. The what's upness. The what's upness. I ain't initiating. Uh huh. But you say what's up back if he said what's up. And it depends. Like if it, if it was like fresh, like five, ten years ago, <laughs> I might get like a head nod. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But if it's it was if they didn't pass, if they didn't pass to now, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, what's going on, preacher? <laughs> 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 what's going on, preacher? 
You said three months ago. Yeah, three months ago. What the fuck am I doing to get jumped? <laughs> <laughs> three months ago. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> They got jumped in June. <laughs> <laughs> they got jumped in the summertime. Cause you tell somebody to put their mask on. Shit, that's what people fighting over now. Yeah. Man, fuck the bitch. Yeah, man, I she said put the mask on. <laughs> that's funny, bro. Man, fuck them people. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll get into our last one, and then we'll get into a couple of questions. All right. Um, I guess I don't even know if I want to do hundred rounds for Chad Chad Chadwick Boseman. You know, that recently passed. Um, we found out all together that he passed from colon cancer. And he's been meddling with it for four years. Um, so what do you guys feel about that or think about that? I guess. Or how did, how did it made you feel when you found out about that? I, I wasn't even shocked. I'm kind of cool. Really? Nah, because I, I knew he was battling something. Mm-hmm. I, knew, I, I remember tweeting about it. I didn't even go back to dig up the tweet because mm-hmm. it, it was sad. Man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I... I remember tweeting. He was on some award. I want to say it was like the BET Awards mm-hmm. or something. He was mm-hmm. on. And I like, I remember tweeting. Mm-hmm. I say, yo, is Chad with Bozeman okay? Mm-hmm. And, you know, to hear this news now mm-hmm. that he's passed on, like, it didn't necessarily surprise me mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but definitely still sad. You know what I'm saying? But I think the thing that brings me peace about it uh, is the fact that he left a legacy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He left four a legacy. Years. That, that man... Uh, he worked his ass off. Mm-hmm. He picked good movies, mm-hmm. uh, and he was for us. Mm-hmm. I don't know that James Brown movie wasn't. There. First, okay, I was gonna. That's actually I actually like that movie. He, I mean, he did really, really well as James Brown to me in that movie. I'm already saying I ain't even watch it. I don't think. Oh man, <sighs> it, it was kind of weird I saw in 42, a way. Though. I never seen Forty Two. Was it good? It was cool. I really like Get On Up Though. What were you saying? That was it. Oh, he picked yeah, good movies. Yeah, yeah he picked good movies. He, it, basically, like, like he left as a model citizen. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, that's who you aspire. If your son say, "I want to be like him," mm-hmm. I don't, don't want to say your son. Your son should want to be like you. But <laughs> if a kid walks in here and say, "Yeah, I want to be like Chaz and Bozeman when I grow up," mm-hmm. like, dope. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, he, he left. A, he left his imprint on the whole world. So yeah. What about you though? Because you do actually have a son, and so when, I, when your daughter may watch Black Panther too, but I don't. I don't know, but. How did you feel hearing the news that he passed away and all that stuff? Um, I was with my homegirl. She the one who told me. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't believe her. I was like, man, that shit didn't happen. Mm-hmm. And then she said she had got it from somewhere. Then I had I got on IG. Mm-hmm. And, it, you know, it was everywhere. Yeah. Start um, seeing it. I don't want to just say it was, what the, it was, it was unbelievable to me. Mm-hmm. But like I said, once again, I mean, I'm... Damn, I'm not a heartless person, mm-hmm. but it's just like I'm just distant from a lot of shit. So mm-hmm. it is. Um, don't the only person that has passed away that made me really feel a certain type of way was Kobe. Mm-hmm. Um, but I talked to Caleb about it last night, and uh, we watched Black Panther. I said, um, "This nigga here, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like, I I love my son, bro. Mm-hmm. What up, dog?" I love my son, mm-hmm. but that, that nigga, he, he a lot, bro. He, he remind me of me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was like, um, I said, you know, um, you, you know, black, Tan- black Panther died. Mm-hmm. He said, yeah, I know daddy. <laughs> I say, I, I say, you want to talk about it? Nah, I, I, want, I just want to watch the movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Were you prepared to have a conversation though? I, I mean, I was, no, I'm like, you, you know, you want to talk? No, we can talk, mm-hmm. you know, cause I ain't never had nobody to talk to. You know what Aww, I'm saying? So it's just like that's sweet. But it's, it's, he don't want to talk about shit, bro. Like he, mm. I, I'm good. Mm. All right, like you. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that sounds like what you just described for yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, but like, even though I be good, you know, it's just like I'm I'm so used to like to being a certain type of way mm-hmm. that it'll be good if I did, you know, like talk about some shit or just like. What get, What do you think would make you want to talk about some shit? Cause you have to be comfortable enough to do it, right? I mean, it's it's probably like the the person that that asked me mm-hmm. or that that want to know. Cause if if somebody just that I don't talk to a lot mm-hmm. asks me about something, I'm not giving no information because mm-hmm. like like you say, you have to be comfortable, and, and I'm I'm not comfortable, or I don't want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. But if 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 I know it's somebody that genuinely care about me, mm-hmm. and they I can see that they concerned about whatever it is that they're asked mm-hmm. that they ask, I'd be like, okay. 
this is what it is, mm-hmm. you know. But for the most part, I just deal with it like I always do. But I, I be trying to be nurturing and shit, bro. I don't mm-hmm. like that shit, bro. Like I'm, I'm being vulnerable, bro. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, Why don't you like that? No, I'm, I'm is talking. It, I, is it because no, it's foreign? Or I'm, ta- I'm talking about Caleb. Oh, what about it though? No, I'm saying like I'm. You're trying to be that for him. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be oh. nurturing, you know, and all this shit. And he'd be like, No, I'm, I'm good. It's too late. You should have did him too. Nigga, I, I'm playing. I, I'm playing. I ain't know no better. Nigga. <laughs> Now, now, me, nigga. now he now he used to so he don't even want it no more. Wow, that nigga just six, bro. I'd be like, <laughs> God damn, man. But well, like, I'd be like, fuck you then, bro. What? <laughs> damn. <laughs> Shit. I know, bro. It's just I You know. no, let's talk about why you really mad. You really mad because you having to do more homework than you thought you would have to do. Let's, talk, mean, about, let's talk about why you really upset. I, I talk about that. I uh-huh. was gonna bring that shit up. Cause you definitely said this nigga said in the group he was babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, uh, "Nigga, how you gonna babysit your own son?" That's not babysitting, nigga. Yeah. I said, "I said, nigga, I, I, I dare, I'm damn near disowning this nigga ass at the math class, nigga at the math <laughs> class. It, it was a wrap, dog." Is your is your is school started back? Nah, nah, not just yet. Okay, um, next week. Is she going to be, well, y'all, is it home first and then back to school in October? No, nah, she just chose to do the straight whole home? flex thing. Yeah, oh. yeah straight mm-hmm. home. So, How do you think that's going to go for y'all or for you? It's cool. Her, her mom, her mom uh, well, everybody works from home right now, but her mom's a teacher. Oh, know, okay. So, yeah. She can go good. to the next room. Plus, I'm, go. plus, I'm pretty good at teaching myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty good at the shit. Okay. Well, maybe, well, look. Like, your, I, fr- I like your friend needs some help. Homework. Your friend needs some help. <laughs> He got a little boy though. We Bro, like, like, like like men are hard on their sons. <laughs> and we really are about like, learning. It's it's just about I I don't know if y'all seen the clip with uh Emmanuel Hudson uh-huh. about uh, him and his brother. They did a little skit. Um, I sent it to you, but I was like, that's that's me and Caleb, bro. Because <laughs> um, it was him, it was the it was the teacher, the the dad, and uh, it was the kid. Mm-hmm. So um, he was like. Hey, just, so Jimmy has four apples, all mm-hmm. right? And Jimmy friend gives him two apples. How many apples do he have? <laughs> and and the little boy said three. <laughs> and the dad's like, <laughs> and, 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 and then she's like, it's okay, it's okay. We, we're gonna do it again. So he was teaching him how to add and shit. So he, he said, okay, so now Jimmy has four apples. Mm-hmm. His friend gives him two. Now that I explained it to you, mm-hmm. how many apples do we have? And he was counting. He said three. <laughs> he, did, he did it again, mm-hmm. and his dad smacked him, bro. It was, it was yeah. just funny. I'm like, bro, that's that's it. Because mm-hmm. after I explained something to you three times, mm-hmm. you know, and you give me the same exact answer after I told you it was wrong, you, I'm like, bro, what's? We gotta go take a break. <laughs> yeah, you, hey, you know we're gonna come back to this. <laughs> Let's skip this. I be I be out, man. I be like, nigga, brush your teeth, bro. <laughs> and, and come back. Did you do? Do you finish the homework yourself? Do I, nah, I don't. Okay, that's good. I just leave it undone. Uh, science projects, though. <laughs> shit, for to get this shit. <laughs> move, 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 move. Oh, nigga, you got the way. I got shit, it. Go get the man. baking soda, nigga. Man, 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 man. <laughs> Put the clue right here. <laughs> shit. <laughs> but and he, he got a daughter. It's, it's, it's like I know it's no way in the world that I, I would be like I am with Caleb if I had a daughter. Mm. But it's just it's it's a it's completely different. Mm-hmm. It's completely I think different. the same sex parent is always a little bit more tough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen, like, a lot of my homegirls be like, yo, my mom was hard as shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and dudes be saying the same thing. My dad was tough as shit. Mm-hmm. That was the same thing with my pops. Mm-hmm. Old man was hard as hell. She <laughs> <laughs> laughing at me. He was like, you were going to say, I wouldn't know or something like that. I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, my shit was easy because that nigga wasn't there. <laughs> I was going to say something like that. I was your face. <laughs> You gotta stop saying that. Bro. You gotta stop saying that. <laughs> the teacher be like, "Yeah, my dad." <laughs> but you, that make you feel good, though, don't it? What? That he can say that. Well, what, I mean, your son can say that about you, though. Oh yeah, I mean, but like, and of course, like when, like when, when he be sleeping, shit, or when he be gone, I be like, man, I was, I think I was a little too hard on him. I think I, I hit him in the chest too hard. That- <laughs> for the math problem? <laughs> Damn. Damn, oh my God. <laughs> I know, bro. I, it's, yeah, I know. Bro. But you know what, though? Like, so, okay, just going off topic, do you believe in, like, physical punishment for your kids? Like beans? Uh, whoopings, beans. If it worked. Because it worked on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Like one of my brothers, like he get his ass whooped and still go do the same shit. Mm-hmm. But for me, them whoopings work like a motherfucker. Really? Like I ain't doing this shit no more. Put me on punishment though. Mm-hmm. That that was a cakewalk. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't bet. Put me mm-hmm. on punishment, please. You know what I'm saying? So like, mm-hmm. like <laughs> please. Yeah. You know, get the whooping. You have to choose. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so in my parenting. Like I don't have to. Mm-hmm. I don't have to. Like when, when she hear my voice change, mm, she straighten up right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, clearly, I, I, clearly, I know what you do. <laughs> I mean, I mean to be honest, I haven't, I haven't whooped Caleb in a in a in a in a little minute. I ain't got a belt to go whoop him. I feel like that with men, y'all don't whoop me more. You just like punch him real hard or slap his neck or something I do, like that. I do punch him. I, I don't slap him, but I you know I, I do like open hand shit. Uh-huh. But what's what I've been noticing, especially since school started back, mm-hmm. like my. I got like a dad look, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, like if he do something, <laughs> <laughs> that's it, bro. And uh-huh. he be like, straighten up. I be like, yeah, nigga, no. But sometimes, like, I like when, when he get the math problem wrong. Like he he a cancer, so he's oh he's sensitive. God. Okay, okay. He's 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 like extra sensitive and uh-huh. shit. You know, I can barely tap him. You know, what I'm saying, oh, I say something, and he mm-hmm. want he like he want to. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why, but that that shit like. That shit gets him. I'm like, nigga, sh- but what? Okay, I, hold I, on. I, I, thought was, I thought it was because he's six. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's sick and he's a cancer. Because he's a cancer. Like, no, he's six. <laughs> nigga, nah, he's a cancer, bro. He's he a cancer and he's six, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on. Wait, you just said that you wanted, you wanted to be more nurturing. So when he's doing yeah. that, you don't nurture him? No, I do. You, you, that don't mean, that don't mean I'm, like, I'm just going to stop like hitting the nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, shit, he need to get it. Okay. I, I feel like so I I did with my first, but it was with my sec. I said I wasn't gonna do that because with my first whooping just didn't do anything like nothing. Now it's electronics. Whoopings then didn't I feel like the whooping won't do nothing to the second one either. The, it definitely don't. But <laughs> the first one for her, like I would whoop her, and she's so stubborn she wouldn't cry, and she would not do Taurus. anything. No, nah, she's a Scorpio. She's very stubborn. So I'd be whooping her and she wouldn't cry. And then I'd be like, well, damn, now I got to make... Uh, I feel like <laughs> it yeah, ain't come effective. Up with something else. Or now I got to hit her. Like, I don't want to say hit her harder, but like, damn. Like, so then I'd I get done whooping her and she'd be like, is it over? And I'd be like, get the fuck out of my room. The second one, definitely. But she's very sensitive. So I just got to talk crazy to her. And that works. So I, I'm with y'all. Like, I, if it works. Yeah, but it, it ain't works. really... It ain't really work. Now I don't be want to be... Beating on them either. Like I ain't got the, I ain't got the energy. Yeah, I be hearing kids like I used to hear kids when I was in school saying I got a whooping with an extension cord. Like yo, what, did y'all get whooping with an extension cord? I did. I have before. Shit. Yeah, but hey, by my aunt. Touch extension cord. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't by my mom <laughs> because like shit, what your auntie whooping with an extension cord? I got I got six aunts. Mm-hmm. And um, all of them could beat you. It was it was for a game. Like honestly, <laughs> okay. I remember I remember like one of my aunts. They jumped you. <laughs> <laughs> one of my aunts threw a shoe at me, bro, and and, and had my whole eye swole. And they didn't say I'm sorry or no shit like that. You Why know you what throw the shoe though? Man, I was I was bad when oh, I was younger. It's like, okay, but I'm saying not for a swole eye though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like putting in time out or some shit. I don't think she probably didn't mean to hit you though. Nah, she did. Oh, okay. It, it, perfect. So even if she didn't mean to hit me, that's the perfect time to say, damn, I ain't mean to hit you in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, now go on there and get it and take your ass around there and sit, sit by, that, by that table. <laughs> that was it. That was but, but my mom, she started whooping me because my mom, she she like 5'1". Mm-hmm. And um, I'm 6'3", but uh, like I, I was growing and she was whooping me. And just like your daughter said... I think it was one time I was laughing when my mom was whooping. Dang, me. that's the worst. Yeah, and it was just and like that was the last whooping I got. Mm-hmm. I remember. So yeah, it made me feel bad because I was like, damn, now I'm over here trying to beat her ass because she ain't reacting to nothing, and then it still don't work because that's not her. But she's she is very uh, emotional too. So both of them are very emotional. I just gotta say I'm dis- like with her, I'm disappointed, oh, yeah, or I'm, I'm very disappointed in you, and that gets her. Yeah, what anything I, else? When I was a teenager, mm-hmm. and my mom would see them damn truancy letters. <laughs> damn, I'm disappointed in you. Wait, where were you going? Whoa. Oh, I was skipping like a motherfucker. Really? Yeah, yeah, I was skipping yeah. ninth grade. I don't know. I, I wasn't even doing shit. I was skipping. Like, what were you but doing? I was passing though, and all that good shit. But I was skipping like a motherfucker. But what were you doing? Did you like, have a car? I, had, I got a car in eleventh grade. So why were you skipping? Because it's fun. <laughs> I think, I think I think it was really just being rebellious. That's all uh-huh. it was. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I was a good student. I wasn't no bad kid or nothing like that. But yeah, I was getting truancy like a motherfucker. Where would you go? Because you couldn't. You I mean, you couldn't stay home. Shit, when I got a call, no, no, mom and dad would be at work. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just how you gonna stay home today? Yo, let's go to the crib. Like you go to school. Uh huh. You come back around lunchtime. Oh. Uh, I think I'm a chill. <laughs> I, I remember I, I used to catch the bus to school, so I wake up, meet up with my friend. Like, you want to go in today? You want to go to school? Nah, fuck mm-hmm. it. Let's let's go smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I wasn't, and surprisingly, I wasn't. I almost never. I never skipped. Really? We had a that uh, that was six. We had a, a walkout. We fought the um, we fought the Mexicans and like. Why every school hip hop? <laughs> <laughs> every black school had a black and Mexican fight, bro. That's yeah, yeah. hilarious. That's I mean, always not hilarious, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that is the only time. Yeah. But no, I had. Now, I had Carter, we ain't fight Mexicans at Carter. We just they just they just jump random niggas or so uh, Katrina. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that, that that shit definitely happened. That happened a lot, but not. But what I what happened was I had fourth period off because you know you have like to, to go off to go to work. And I didn't, I didn't tell my parents. They wanted me to like take out these pre AP classes for college and shit. And I was like, I didn't take out this shit uh, my whole high school year. I'm trying to take off, so I switched my schedule at the last minute. And I had fourth period off for like half the year, and they didn't even know. But I'd be going to work, so I was, I was working, and they were just like, Well, how you, how you getting forty hours a week, and you supposed to be at school? Damn, you get forty hours at sixteen. <laughs> Hell, Child was, labor laws. Hell, like I, was, no, I was working. I was working for real. Like I had to take care of myself, so I was working, but. Yeah. I ain't never really skipped school. That one, mm-mm. and I had no car. I think if you have a car, you have options. Yeah, yeah. Tan had a car. On, I'm skipping on the bus too. <laughs> the bus in the, the bus? train, hey. in the train line. Dan, yeah, well, yeah. See, Tan had a car. So when we were had, we had fourth off together. We also worked together, but we would go to we'd be out here in Arlington, from Louisville to Arlington, at the Parks Mall, or some nigga house. But fast. <laughs> that wasn't fast. Well, she was in love. I was. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Now you want to move on. Mm. I mean, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't talking to nobody. I was along for the ride. She was. Yeah. <laughs> I no. I had. A, I had. A, no. Listen. I had. Come a, out. Come out the room. Mouth white and shit. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Nah, nah, you be like, give me some little powdered donuts, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was. Uh, I had an older nigga. He was like twenty one. I'm like I was in high school. Tell us Yo, where this nigga at, man? <laughs> I know. You, be what, you want to talk about R. Kelly then, was you? Yeah, you beat this nigga up, though. I mean, I was. <laughs> it was still. It was still. I didn't say. I, listen, I didn't say it was right. I never said it was right. But then R. Kelly is 50 years old. He is now? <laughs> All right. All right, man. He is 50 years old now, nigga. <laughs> sure, he was, he was 21 when he was messing with Aaliyah, probably. So now what? The same age your nigga was. The same age your nigga was. I, oh, I don't. No, he was older than that. Would Leah? He was a lot older than that. Okay. So we do have a question, um, and this is a general question. So I don't know how to answer this. Very brief. Am I going to be single forever? I'm 30 and have been single for over three years. I've been over 40 first dates since then, and I'm feeling like it's never ending. Help. Yes. <laughs> it's, very, it's very brief. Yeah, you're going to be single, sweetheart. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a theory. Okay. I got a theory. This theory gets broken all the time. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Those people are the exceptions. And mm-hmm. I'm going I'm to break some hearts because I know y'all got a lot of lady listeners. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if you don't tie the knot by in, in your 20s, mm-hmm. especially if you're a woman, mm-hmm. you got to be the exception. Damn. Going forward. Fuck! So it's over for me. Hey. Fuck. Hey, we, we come back here next week. <laughs> hey, you kicking it with us now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come out, B. She asked me to go to the cigar lounge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, damn. That's I, 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 how many weddings have y'all been to where the couple was thirty three and shit? Versus, uh, how many have you been to? When it was 25, 26, 27. So I've been in some, but it was their second marriage. That's an option too. So I, f- I feel like the nigga I'm gonna be with, he probably already he got an ex wife somewhere or something like that. I feel like people in their 20s get married uh-huh. and then get divorced the, in their 30s. Get divorced in your 30s and then the 40s, they get married again. Uh, but you ain't never been married. So you feel like, well, it's only for women? Did you feel like it's over if, ever, if they're over 30, it's over? 
more so, yeah, because cause men ain't got no huge issue with dating younger women and shit. Or dating period. Or dating the period. dating period yeah, is yeah, wide yeah. open for y'all. You can get married tomorrow if you wanted to. It, it's not, especially if you're black. It ain't a lot of black male options uh-huh. for y'all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I All think like y'all, the ones y'all, y'all want. Y'all be holding on to that rule, you know what I'm saying? With the a, ones you want. Hold on, what? You talking about the ones you want? What are you talking about? Like the dude, like, oh, I, I want a dude to do this, to do to do that. And that's what I'm saying, like the ones you want. So if you get somebody that be like, that's very interested in you, mm-hmm. and he's a good guy, but you don't like him like that. You know what I'm saying? you Because mm-hmm. he, he's not your ideal guy. You know? But the, the, the older you get, believe me, that shit gonna go down. <laughs> believe that. I think it gets real tough. It gets real tough. You know, like when you when you in your 30s and you're dating, it's, it's hard because you, you're dealing with a bunch of broken hearted folks. By the time, you, like when you mm-hmm. when you when you ma- when you marry at 25, 26, mm-hmm. yeah, y'all fresh. Y'all mm-hmm. been in probably two other relationships your whole life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Y'all ain't got that many sexual partners. You ain't got nobody that you comparing them to. But when you dating at thirty four, mm-hmm. I mean, you you going against everybody that she been talked to in the last ten years. You know what I'm saying? And so it's ba- yeah, the baggage it, it, along yeah. with it. And it's not even just bad. It don't even have to necessarily be bad baggage or anything mm-hmm. like that. It's just difficult. Mm. It can just be very difficult. Sometimes you can kind of get set in your ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, kids, kids make that's this, that's my boat right now. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't trying to date nobody number one, but I realized like, damn, I don't know how to date with a kid even if mm-hmm. I want to. Yeah, that's tough. You it's know what I'm saying? Your so, first time. Yeah. I've been dating since Caleb's. <laughs> was zero. I thought like, you were dating when he was in the utero, wasn't you? Well, I mean, okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we can skip that. He don't be asking me for advice for single advice because you know I feel like he got it off. You know he got it figured out for the most part. Mm-hmm. Who I'm, me? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> 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 I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm fucked up. But um, I, do you feel I, like she'll I, be single forever? I don't feel like she'll be single forever, but it's just like what you say she's been on forty something first dates. Mm-hmm. I feel like she do have to stop going out with any and everybody. Mm-hmm. Like I, um, I understand that, of course, a person do get lonely and and, and shit. So she they, they might want to get out and and meet people. Mm-hmm. But if you going on forty some first dates and it's ending there, or mm-hmm. they or they not calling you back or some shit like that, then I feel like that's the issue. That with her, perhaps, yeah. Perhaps. For, 40, 40 first dates is a lot. I wonder if she meant that literally. You think she meant 40 for real? Probably. Word. I mean, because... Women, women, women did a lot, lot bro. That's because a they, lot of dates, they, huh? No. And those 40 first dates, she ain't had to pay shit for. So, mm-hmm. not always. I how many of those were second dates? She said first. I know, but like... Oh, the like second they, dates? Yeah, they, they ain't nobody graduate to the second date. How many first dates have y'all been, like... Have you been on... <laughs> Have you been on first dates and not going anywhere else? Yeah, I have. Hell yeah, yeah. How many do you think? Gosh, I don't it ain't know. 40. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't 40. Hell no. Yeah, I, I definitely, I mean, like the attraction wasn't there from my part or even or even her part. Mm-hmm. Um, for the most, I mean, I've, I've really gotten to the point to where, like, I, because normally I, I, I talk to somebody and just and you know and and just see what happens. But if if something that happens that that I don't like or we on the phone, mm-hmm. I'm I'm good with just just ending it right there. You mm-hmm. know because it's like why would I could you know I don't want to continue waste my time mm-hmm. and I ain't finna continue spending my money like that. Mm-hmm. You know and <clears throat> I talk I talk to my homegirl because she she's single too and um. And she was she was talking about going on dates with dudes, mm-hmm. and I said it's it's way more harder for dudes dating than women, especially on a financial standpoint, because mm-hmm. all a dude got to tell a female is is, is get ready, we're gonna go here and go there. Mm-hmm. But with a dude, depending on paydays and shit like that, or mm-hmm. how much money he's willing to spend, mm-hmm. he got he, he got he, he got to come up out the tail. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And women. Y'all just when the check come, you know y'all y'all good. <laughs> the thing is though, like it doesn't always have to be financial. Now, if Tan was here, she definitely say you shouldn't be dating. I think that's what she was. Because she want a nigga to take her ass. That's all. But there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> but I feel also like if you were more creative, you don't you wouldn't have to come out of a lot of money. 
Oh, I, I know how I am. I, I, uh, since I know how you are. You go somewhere with BYOB. <laughs> hey, and they be loving it. Like, nigga, I ain't never did this. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> you know how go to ahead, date. Go, go ahead and post some more wine, girl. Go ahead. But it's not the, it's not, it's, it's not, dating is trash. You're trash. Dating is trash. Because you're not having fun. When you dating, when you dating and you're not having fun, yeah, it's gonna be trash. You might you, you might find it real difficult to find somebody because mm-hmm. when you dating with a purpose, like I gotta get married, or I gotta yeah. be in a serious relationship, you making it tough for yourself. But if you go mm-hmm. out here and say, "Man, I'm just go out here and have a good have time," have fun because mm-hmm. you have, never know what the fuck can happen. Yeah, this dude might end up being my next husband, or he just might be my my best homeboy mm-hmm. going forward. Like if you can look at it from that perspective and just go out and have a good time, mm-hmm. then you take the pressure off of it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then you actually let your real self show. I think he it's, let his real self show. He let his guards down. Now she cool as hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? But when you mm-hmm. go in thinking like, damn, this nigga got he, he, he got to have this. Like mm-hmm. he on the damn interview. Well, I don't even think it's that. But I, I saw I, I be wanting to fuck early too, and <laughs> <laughs> that kind of that, that no, kind of we, we do too. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm don't saying get twisted. I will fuck you. But, <laughs> but I'm saying that kind of messes stuff. That can kind of mess things up to where it could be like. We probably should have just been like friends. Yeah. But now that we fucked, you can't still be friends. Yeah, you can't be. You can't be the bro. Yes, you can. No, no, you cannot. No, yes, you can. No, paint the picture. Because if y'all friends, yeah, like two years and some shit, mm-hmm. and then you have sex, yeah, that might be can be a little difficult. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but if, if if y'all like go out with the intentions of dating or whatever, y'all have sex, mm-hmm. and then y'all say, you know what? I don't like you like that, but we can definitely keep on being friends. I think that shit had a possibility that, of working. Yeah, but you can't call him bro. Why not? She better call me bro. <laughs> hell, <laughs> hell. Hey, call you, me bro. It's all good. No. Look, I want you to. Look at <laughs> No, <laughs> no, because every time, Say no. Because every time, yo, 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 Say so it. you dating somebody. <laughs> Say bro. <laughs> Boy, I fuck it. Nigga, <laughs> call me bro again. Yeah. No, so, so y'all out. So you have a girl and you out, and it's like, oh, that's my bro. You're not gonna think, oh, that's a nigga she used to if, fuck. If this just, oh, if a girl you're with and she's like, oh, this, this my bro. I don't play that shit. I don't like that. I ain't gonna think that's a nigga that she fucked though. I don't, I don't think, I don't think my mind jumped straight there. Mm. Yeah. Like now, chicks call, they be like, oh man, that's just the homie. Yeah, they be trying to sound like us. That's mm-hmm. all good. <laughs> so you want a girl that, that you fucking to call you? That's the bro. Then I fuck. I don't. Oh, yeah, not if you fuck. Yeah, okay. Not if we like. Yeah, but if we friends, yeah, then yeah. You, you gonna call me what the fuck we are? We we, we homies, we cool. Sis. <laughs> sis. What's up, sis? Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> I block you. <laughs> you better not call me a goddamn sis. Yeah, everybody get the sis. Hell no, nah. I want a sis and I never mind. What's up, queen? <laughs> no, uh, that's what she want, queen. <laughs> nah, What's I don't want queen? that. You can call me my name. I don't like. I don't like the sis, the bro. Cause I've been fooled by that before. Like, oh, that's 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 just the uh, that's the home girl, and uh, my first baby daddy. I was trying to be the cool, you know. You have girl friends. That's cool, y'all cool. I saw my side one girl. He's like, oh, that's just my home girl. I'm like, no, I'm trying to be okay. That's cool. I'm fine. And then nigga caught some, <laughs> <laughs> and I found oh, out that it was man. more than a home girl. So I, I'm scarred. From even hearing, yeah, you got a story. Yeah, like even like that's the homie. That's the I, uh, I don't know. And I've been somebody in there. Um, okay. See, that's another thing though. Like going towards the question, like mm-hmm. how many bros is she gonna have by the time you in your thirties? It's gonna be a lot of the niggas. So I that's said, why that's mm-hmm. why I make it. Basically, what all I'm trying to say is dating is very difficult the older you know that you get. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but the thing is too, like I'll tell a nigga, like I'm not looking for friends. I have enough friends. Like I don't need no more friends. If it happens that we become friends, that's cool. But if if we're talking, you be like, oh, I'm just looking for a friend. Okay, I'm good on you because I don't need no friends. I got friends. I mean, but you but you don't know what can transpire from that though. That's not what I'm looking for. But you got to say it though. Do you, have to, do you have to say that? I don't think you have to say no, that. No, if you're, if you're asking what someone's intentions are when they're talking oh, to yeah. you. Oh, yeah. If the question comes up, yeah. then cool. But and like, I'm just looking for friends. I was, I, okay, cool. Okay, I don't but, know. But say, for instance, that question don't even come up. Mm-hmm. Are you just 
saying it off the rip like i ain't looking for no friends are you saying it off the no rip? it's we're, we're gonna have a discussion about what it is we're looking for like if it gets to that point like if we're continuing to talk and i fuck with him or i like him oh, that conversation yeah. Yeah. yeah but that that's as time go by though but not but not yeah but not if <laughs> like when y'all first meet each other like what the fuck <laughs> yeah Nigga, like, if you... i first meet you i still want to know what you're intent like what are you looking for yeah, I, i'm not finna tell you like i'm, I'm like so, so i'm just be, oh yeah I'm, I'm looking for a girlfriend no no but you can you can what most niggas say I'm not looking for nothing right now, but if if it happens, it happens. That's what niggas say. Shit, that's true. But that is so misleading to me, almost because like it seems like you don't want to say that you are like you don't want to. It's yeah, the truth. Give false hope. That go back to what I was just saying. You, when you going into it thinking this has to be someone with some intentions and purpose, mm-hmm. when you go into it with that thinking, it's, it kind of starts getting murky right there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like if you have, if, just go. I'm telling you, your next few days, go out and just say, man, we're going to ball out and have a good ass time. Mm-hmm. Me and this nigga right here, we're going to have a good ass time. Mm-hmm. You might mess around and catch you one. But when, have, you, but, but when you go into it, like, I, I need to be with somebody. I'm saying right because that, that, like, honestly, they ain't going to do nothing but scare the nigga off anyway. If you're talking about relationship and commitment on, like, right then and there, no. don't nigga want to get into that. Like, he's trying to get to know you. He might not want to call you tomorrow. No, but the thing is, though, like, I like to be up front because I don't want to waste your time or mine. So if you say, like, I who just want to. Who says time is being wasted, though? If you just say, I want to fuck, I'm not the one for you. But how many niggas are you just fucking now? Well, I'm, okay. I'm hey, about, I'm about, I'm about, I'm about, I'm about, you got to be on the show. You like, too. You too. Come on, dog. Come on, man. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Calm down. Just edit this shit out. <laughs> I ain't going to edit it out. <laughs> going stri- straight up <laughs> on Spotify. That, what was you saying? What, what was the what? question? <laughs> <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no edits. What was the question? I don't know. You were saying something about niggas fucking. Oh, I mean, I, okay, so I was going to ask, mm-hmm. um, you saying that you want to be upfront with a dude and you want him to be upfront with you, right? Mm-hmm. So, and you saying that a dude say, well, I'm not necessarily looking f- for something, but if something happens, I mean, I'm, I'm open, I'm game, you mm-hmm. know, if it's the right person. Mm-hmm. But what if a dude just say, oh, I'm looking for a girlfriend? So, that'll, that'll change your whole perspective of him when... He's really out here fucking around like that. No, because half, half of your actions is your word. Like, it, it's words and then it's actions. If you say I'm looking for a girlfriend and I see that you're being consistent or that you're doing things that make me think that, then, okay, I'll take you serious. But if you say I'm looking for a girlfriend, but I ain't heard from you in three days. Okay, but what if a dude that say I'm not looking for, for a girlfriend, but whatever happens, happens. What if he's being consistent? Then what? That's confusing, though. Because... Here's the thing. If you're consistent and I'm starting to like you and you still were like, well, I don't really. I mean, I told you I wasn't really looking for nothing. That's, but, a, that's confusing. Too. OK, well, I mean, then you have the right to say whatever you have to say after. I feel like at a certain point of time, you, you can readdress it like, hey, I'm starting to like you. And like we spend so, so much time together. And then you'll still say, well, you know, I mean, I told you I wasn't looking for nothing. So. OK, so I mean, so it's like, all right, well, this thing at a crossroads. You know how I see something else too? Like if I'm on a date on the first date and she says uh, she wants to know my intentions and, mm-hmm. and she's pretty strict on her. And granted, I, I think everybody should do whatever the hell they want to do. Mm-hmm. I, I, I always subscribe to that. Mm-hmm. However, if somebody tell me that and then you start liking me two weeks from now, mm-hmm. I'm going to really feel like, damn, she don't really like me. She just wants something. She wants a relationship. Mm. I'm turned off now. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah, because you... Cause you don't even give a fuck about me. Oh. You want a, you want a relationship yeah. for you. You want a relationship for you. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like like if you came to it with just an intention, like yo, dude, TJ kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I want to hang. I can't wait to hang out with this dude again. Mm-hmm. Ah, right, that nigga said this. That nigga shit funny as hell. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm like if you if you like that, mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna want to be around that energy. You yeah, that's, bring that's that special. energy around me mm-hmm. some more. But mm-hmm. if you like, yo, what's your intentions? And I tell you, and. I, from that point, I don't. I don't think you're interested in me at all. Even if mm. you start to show me that you like me, mm. like she, she don't give a fuck about me. She's just trying to satisfy. She's just trying to check something off the list. Mm. That, that's how I see it. That's interesting. You gotta go into it having fun. Like yeah, like a lot of women, <laughs> like a lot of women <laughs> yeah, like to. Uh, there you go. Couldn't, they, you couldn't stop it because no, but they they like to just say shit based off of you know their point of view and how they feel. But how? What about how the nigga feel though? A lot, a lot of people aren't concerned about how the dude feel. You know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. like T said that um, 
if a woman starts to do this, then that's turning me off. But a woman don't want to hear that because all she's concerned about is it's her. If that makes sense, like mm-hmm. she, if she want a relationship, so I'm not talking to no nigga that say that I don't want to be in a relationship. I'm just um, going through the motions and whatever happens happens. Mm-hmm. You know, so if and if that's her prerogative, that's you no, know, that's cool. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't. They see that we talking or we not. If you don't want to talk, that's cool with me. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, if you're talking to me, mm-hmm. then I feel like my opinion matters too, not just yours. Mm-hmm. But what it what when it comes to like certain stuff like. Certain things you're not gonna agree on. So if, if I want a relationship, you don't want a relationship. Why do you, okay? So you want a relationship? Why do you want a relationship with me? I feel like we we have good chemistry. We have good conversation. I feel like I could see something with you in the future. I feel like you feel the same way about me. I want to take it to the next step. Well, that could blossom into something. But he, he don't want one. You're not, not ready. Not, not in two weeks. No. No. I didn't, no, no what the fuck? That, that's, that's what you. That's what you're talking about. You're talking about, in the, you're talking about in the beginning. No, or when you talk I'm to somebody. About, I'm talking about period. But, Even, but when I it just, just I you started your weeks. whole argument about when I first meet a dude and he tells me this. No, I'm talking about. Okay, so me and you've been talking. Okay. Okay. You, we you we you said you ain't want nothing. We'll go with the flow. If something happens, it happens. I said okay. I agree with that. And. Four months from now, I like you. I want to be with you, but you don't want to be with me. Four four months is early. <laughs> it is four months is early to know if you like somebody. Well, no, I'm. I, I have no problem. Like, yeah, I mean, I like you too. But let's, you know, let's four let's, let's give it some time. Four, four months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tapping out, bro. <laughs> four, so so four months is 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 the deadline for you to be with somebody. No, else. I'm just saying. But if if you know that this person likes you more than you like them, or eventually want more and you don't, but it's not that I don't. But I just don't want to just rush into a relationship. So what is that? Like, other, but what is so the other person? The other person's opinion don't matter. No, it do. Like if 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 this is what you want, of course I'm not gonna just say, oh no, nah, you need to continue doing this. If that's what you want to do, I'm gonna respect your wishes. I'm not gonna beg you to stay or say that you have to stay. But if you ask me how I'm feeling at the moment mm-hmm. that you ask me, mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion and how I feel. Mm-hmm. And it might not be according to what you say. Mm-hmm. It might not be on the same. It might not be there. Mm-hmm. But I'm not saying that it can't be there. Mm-hmm. But as of right now, I feel like we should. If you want to continue, like we can continue doing what we're doing and just give it a little bit more time. Okay, so speaking of time, how much how much time do you need? Because you said four months is <laughs> four months. That's a grip. That's, that's uh, almost a half year. That's what, four months. You talking to somebody <laughs> continuously two, two and you don't know if you like. Me. No, I didn't say that. Like I mean, obviously, if I'm if I'm spending four months with you, I like you. But it's just like you ain't ready for no relationship. Yeah, being in a relationship because that's a lot. Because okay, <clears throat> if I'm in a relationship, that mm-hmm. means that I'm. I'm stopping doing whatever that, that I'm doing, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like, and I'm I'm f- focusing all my energy and shit on you. Mm-hmm. So, at the point of time that you asked me and where I'm at, I mean, it could be something and it could, I feel like now, like, probably going forward, like, months, maybe, like, probably, like, next year or something like that, if I come in across something, you know, something like that, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll be willing. But, like, these recent years that I've been broken up with my ex, mm-hmm. like, a past a year and a half mm-hmm. I, I wasn't ready so I wasn't giving nobody I wasn't giving nobody that mm-hmm. but the hope hope that, I mean they if they a lot of people just like being around good energy mm-hmm. like T was saying and saying you tell some some people you know what I'm saying what it is mm-hmm. or like cause it's been some people that I've been like I'm not trying to be in a relationship period and I, I don't I don't even say whatever with happens you, it's not it, is it with you no, it's just like I'm not trying to be in a relationship period at okay. the moment, you know? Okay. So, and it, it just be that. Mm-hmm. Um, but probably, like I say, next year, you know, depending on <laughs> everything, year. you know, um, I, I'll be willing and open. Next year. I said probably next year. I mean, it could happen at the end. It might happen in December 29th, 31st. <laughs> I don't know. Shit. I'll be down <laughs> if, if it happens. So when someone says, what are your intentions, you say... Now, if they ask me now, mm-hmm. I say I said it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kicking it right now. Do you but, say do okay? Do you say you don't want to ever get married again? No, I'm good. No, do you say that? Uh, I always I always leave. I yes, I do say that. Mm-hmm. But I always say this that 
That's how I, I feel. I, I, I <laughs> that's how I, I feel now. Shit. That's how I feel now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you can make me change my mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But as for what I'm saying right now, mm-hmm. no, nah, I don't want to. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so anybody you're with should respect or know that yeah, going in with you. Yeah, facts. That you not. Facts. And it, it's kind of hard for me to say what I really feel about marriage because I know so many married people, mm-hmm. and I still support marriage. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. My homegirl told me the other day. She said you anti relationship. I'm, like, I'm not anti relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just. I, I don't I don't hold it in the highest regard like I used to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I do think it's still a beautiful thing. Two lives becoming one, living on the same roof, starting a family together. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. But um I should be told I, I think I think the commitment is deeper when you're unmarried. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? Because pe- people stay in relationships because they are <laughs> married. You know what I'm saying? It's hard, like I, ha- I, ha- I can't, I can't leave. I can't go. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But, Especially if you got kids. But if I'm, if we unmarried, we're not married, but we've been together. I can leave at any day, but I want to be with your ass. Mm. Yeah, this is a lot. We, we had a, we had a badass argument last night, but I'm still gonna wake up here and be with you in the morning. Mm. That that says more to me than a piece of paper. I might burn really? your toast on purpose though, but you know. You I said still, what? I still cook your breakfast. You might burn the toast on purpose. Yeah. Why would you burn something on purpose? Because we just had an argument last night. That's very petty. So? <laughs> you petty too. So you gonna waste food? No, it's just it's toast. Nigga, it's shit. 98 if you get the great value kind. It's just 98 cents. <laughs> 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 oh, I mean, shit. Nigga, we in a pandemic. <laughs> you know? And, and bread's still the same price. And if, <laughs> Do you know like three months ago what no bread? I want no water. You have a different appreciation for shit now. Now this here, hell yeah! <laughs> that flour on the shelf is possible on the shelf. Like I feel like I'm seen. I, I, I agree with you um, because mm. I, I, I always say that a marriage in a in a, a real relationship to me is is it should be treated the it, it, it's the same thing because when you're in a committed relationship. Mm-hmm. You're gonna you're gonna love that person if you truly love them. You're gonna you you you're expected to to have all these you know like I don't want to say qualities, but you you hold to a certain standard. Mm-hmm. Um, no lying, no cheating, and shit, and shit like that. The stuff you should be doing anyway. Exactly right. Uh, that, that you should be. And people don't do it. But when you're in a marriage, it's like it's you supposed to be truthful. And honest, well, this is the same shit, but faithful times ten. And I'm like, how the fuck I'm gonna do that times ten? And and like that's it, it doesn't make sense. That's why I say to me, our marriage is just a piece of paper. I'm gonna treat my marriage just like I do my relationship. And I think that's part of the problem because it's not just a piece of paper. It it, it really is. It it really isn't. Tell me tell me what changes. When you get married? Yeah. Legally I can decide if you live or die. Piece of paper. Once again, besides a piece of paper, what is different from a? It's not, emotionally, it could be the same thing for people who've been together twenty years. But it, I don't it's, it's saying it's a piece of paper is very easy because that's what it is. It's not easy. It's a, a marriage turns into a business. A relationship is a relationship. You can leave when you want to in a relationship, but when you marry, you got to go through the courses. But I think a, a marriage is more commitment because you're you don't get married to get divorced. You get married, and you shouldn't be in a committed relationship just for you know to shit the end. Like if if, if we've been rocking for two years, right? Of course, we're taught that the next step is marriage, mm-hmm. get married, whatever the case may be. But if you you do the same exact thing within a relationship within a marriage, you you're 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 expected to stay in a marriage. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to, even if you don't want to be in that marriage, which a lot of people do. No. So I'm, my question to you is what changes from when you get married from being in that two, two three year relationship? What changes is we're one. That's what changes. How? How, 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 are we, how did we become how? one now? Because you can't go and get anything in your name without and me and my name without me being on it. Peace. Of paper, you're not saying anything. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> Was Adam and Eve married? Yes, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. And we, and we out here doing a podcast. Thanks to Adam and Eve. <laughs> Damn, look at life still going on without marriage. But I'm, but I'm saying that like 
That's not the. He caught her a woman like that. <laughs> <laughs> he saw her and saw that she was good and caught her a woman. Well, but, man. But, but that was her. That was him. That's all he needed. That was his real. <sighs> all right, Jody. <laughs> 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 All right, so I, I don't know if that helped because we were not on rabbit hole with it. I don't think you'll be single forever. I think if you, oh uh, damn, it was a question. I think, okay. if, I think if you're thirty, you I, I, your options are limited. So you either gonna have to be a stepmama or be with someone who's. I been think this shit did though. What I, I said, if I ever get into another committed long term relationship, mm-hmm. if I ever decide to get married again, it, mm-hmm. it'll have to be somebody that's been married before mm-hmm. and it has kids or mm-hmm. a kid. Mm-hmm. Really? I, I can't get with nobody who ain't got no kids. I, I'm I'm ready to be a stepmama. I think that's lit. As long as she ain't still fucking the baby mama, but I have a. I have a great relationship with Why my. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at you? Oh, I thought you. I thought, oh, man, I, 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 I would have seen you with me. I have a. I, I actually love my uh, my exes. I love his his girlfriend. Right. I, she I, actually, you can take the nigga and keep her. Like I love her. Right, right. She is amazing. So I hope if I if I'm with somebody, I'm with someone who is kind of has a good relationship with their. Baby mom, but that's not always ideal. Like that's not always that's not always the yeah. the norm. And then you have to navigate that as a couple. Because then, as a girlfriend, do you say something to the baby mama? Do you not? Like it's it's weird shit. Because you know what I you know what I want. Like if I want this shit, <laughs> somebody that's gonna be real. Like yo, I've been married before. I've mm-hmm. already had a kid. I've, I've already bought my first house. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't trying to do none of the first shit no more. Mm-hmm. I don't need to be with somebody who's gonna be ready to do the first mm-hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We gotta get a house. Mm-hmm. I ain't yeah, even know what Yeah, and we gotta have a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, mm-hmm. I'm good. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So like. And somebody who just had the experience of what marriage is. I play like, your second marriage was lit anyway. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, know better. Like, you know better. Yeah, you know better. Uh-huh. Like, damn, I'm I'm trash as fuck in this area, so I'm I'm gonna fix these areas in my life. Third though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the third one—that's how you know it's you. <laughs> damn, I'm, I'm the I'm problem. Tra- yeah. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, it's me. She but go, no. she's gone again. <laughs> Damn, I keep doing this shit. <laughs> I hate me. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be a... I would, I would really love to be a stepmom. I want a lot of kids, though. Yeah. I How many more you want? I I don't know. Like, if he had, like, maybe three kids and I had my two, Damn. I probably would want a couple more. I, don't, I just like kids. I like kids. I like all that shit. I'm, I don't. I realize I'm probably not gonna have six on my because I'm getting up there. So I'm probably not gonna have six. I said four, but the older my kids get and the more like self sufficient they are, yeah. Like I ain't gotta worry about putting a car seat in the car or cooking breakfast. Cook, well, no, I still gotta. We still cook breakfast. But what I'm saying, like some kids can go pour a bowl of cereal on their yeah, own. Yeah, you can tell like, them to go, big, go, get, go get your own breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> now, yeah somebody ain't. Depending yeah. on you, yeah, yeah. so I'm, the more I'm getting into that, I'm like, you know, I'm good with two, like my two good. Yeah. But it's all. I mean, I'm open to either or. What about you? You open to being a stepdaddy? I mean, I feel like if I'm gonna be in a relationship with somebody, I feel like that's like that's the norm. Like somebody gonna have kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, my last two relationships, mm-hmm. they didn't have kids, so it's 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 kind of. I feel like it it'll be new if I did have, mm-hmm. you know. But I feel like. One one is good, like for for her to have. Like mm-hmm. one is good, like mm-hmm. two. I got you know I, I got like you, like mm-hmm. you know I really, I really like you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. No, I mean I mean dead I, know, I, I know you are. Like, <laughs> because it's you no, know, it's a lot. I because know. it's 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 a lot that that I, is expected out of the dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That that you with you know mm-hmm. with your I kids. Uh-huh. So I just feel like it's just it, that'll just be a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but I am willing if if. If that person comes along and she has two kids, mm-hmm. I feel like it's it's most, mostly people who don't have like I feel like for some reason I usually date niggas who don't have kids and it's not me doing it. It just happens. It right? just happens that yeah. way for some reason. And I'm both. Of, it sound bad, but I'm both of my firsts. <laughs> I'm both of their mm. first first baby mamas or whatever. So. Yeah. They really don't have nothing to. I don't have to argue with nobody. I ain't got to fight with nobody. 
One is getting ready to just have a second kid, but our kid is almost 13, so. That's another thing that makes dating difficult in mm -hmm. your 30s. Going back to the question again, like, what if I meet somebody, but they not good with my kids? Mm. You know what I'm saying? They don't even like kids. Yeah. That's they could be perfect for me. Well, and yeah. But, but, yeah. If but I was kid, single, we can yeah. really rock. But see, and that's another thing with you being so fresh, like, you don't know the time frame when to, like, introduce somebody. Because I ain't doing it. You don't be, no, but I'm saying, you don't, you don't be locked in with somebody and then, like, you yeah. like them and then you bring your kid around and they can't stand each other. No, that's fair. Like, that's. That's fair. That's, I dated a nigga and I felt like, I was like, Y'all don't like each other. <laughs> like, I feel like my kid didn't like him, and he didn't like her. And I'm like, this what happened? Like, they didn't, like they yeah had like a, a game night or something. Well, no, we tr like we tried. So, <laughs> this is the one that proposed. Okay. And I told him no, and he was still with me. Like he would have done anything to make it work, but it it felt forced. It didn't feel. He didn't have any kids. We were really young, so we were like like 24. Like we were super young, yeah. and like. He's like a kid trying to like discipline a kid, and he won't understand. And like, you can't be, you can't allow this sometimes, and then get mad at this other times. Like, he won't understand the shit. You because know what I'm saying? He, you you have to be in it to, to actually know. Like, he he didn't know. You know no, what I'm saying? And, and it's your kid too. It's a, it was a vibe. Like, he just didn't like her. Mm. <laughs> and mm. that, and and that's, and sometimes if I if I want her mom, but I I don't know. Right. Sometimes I don't either, but like he didn't like her, <laughs> <laughs> and and that was kind of like how can you how can we build with something like that? Like it, that's tough. That's really tough. Shit. Dating is a lot, man. Got to be the exception. Uh, so the rule is fucked up. So basically, what he said is, if you gonna be single forever, then because you ever, <laughs> I, I, I say you ain't gonna be single forever, but you got you definitely got to tweak whatever it is that you're doing. If you've been on forty some first, first dates, days. stop going out with with every nigga. Uh, if yeah, if go you on are a second going, date. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said what? Go on a second date. Yeah, may, maybe you was nervous. He was nervous. Uh -huh. If it is just first dates, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So just. And have fun, man. Yeah, yeah. Like take have that expectation that. shit out. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, this is a, niggas don't know how to have fun. Oh, that's a lie. No, it, no, it's true. Niggas don't know how to have like. I can. I'm the one type. I can do nothing and still have fun. Like I can be sitting nowhere and have fun. But Terrence's pandemic, <laughs> yeah, yeah. niggas still be doing like what to do. Like uh, it it's, uh, it's eating. Or, I mean, what else? Like, it's not really... It's a and you know what? It, it, it's kind of... Because I, I deal with this, just like even trying to find somewhere to take my daughter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't shit to do but eat and go places right now. Because when you're on the, on the first date with somebody, right? Mm -hmm. During this pandemic, mm -hmm. you don't know how they are with the mask thing. Mm -hmm. Do they like being close? Do they, are they cool with it? Do they not believe in the shit? Do they want to hug you or touch you? Yeah, or, yeah. so like you're going to be awkward dating during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like I, I just asked my homegirl right before I came here. She said, yo, let's let's get out this week. I said, you cool with restaurants mm -hmm. right now? Because I'm cool with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with a restaurant. He wasn't but, for a minute though. But every everybody not cool with that right now. I'm back. Everybody well, I, like, so so yeah, that first date gonna be awkward, especially if y'all know each other. Okay, so that's like another cool. Like, what are you cool with during this time? <laughs> cool. I don't want to say whatever, but I, I'm kind of I'm kind of with you. Pretty I'm, much, I'm, I, I am. Now I'm, I, I'm 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 not comfortable with concerts. Like large, large gathering of people. You gonna go to a concert? I ain't gonna lie. I've been I've been contemplating about. Going <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say constipating. I put an L in there, nigga. You put a P and an L in there, there. Constipating? Yeah, you know yeah. I, I didn't want to say constipating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, dog. Damn, bro. Like, you just can't let a nigga be me, bro. You said constipating. <laughs> Damn, nigga, but, nigga make license plates? <laughs> All right, man. This ugly. You, 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 you. You ready for you ready for us to go and say our IG name, man? <laughs> what were you saying? You've been con you've been hey, contemplating. I'm, I'm, I've been going I'm, back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the contemplated position. <laughs> I'm like, I'm here for the position. He didn't want to. He didn't want to attempt sorry, to switch his word. Is the position still open for the contemplating position? Nah, sir. We feel that already, sir. <laughs> we feel that already. We feel that already. Wow. Oh, uh, but now nah, it's um. I've been going back and forth. About uh, going to the improv because they 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 open that shit back open. Mm -hmm. um, 
Me and Mark went to Texas Live though uh, last week. How was that? It was cool. <sighs> My, was thing, it? my thing is with other people. Uh huh. I'm, I'm always gonna respect who you are. Like I don't know if y'all be seeing people get kicked out for planes and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like man, just put the damn mask on and make yeah. everybody feel safe and comfortable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like even if you don't believe in it, like everybody, you outnumbered right now, bro. Yeah. Just put shit on. Yeah. Because you'll cause a lot of less trouble. Mm-hmm. That's how I am with. It. So mm-hmm. when it comes to crowds, I probably wouldn't go to a crowd mm-hmm. simply for the fact that you know, like, like I know I'm alright with it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. but, but other people may not be. Yeah. So okay. I just try to I just try to respect people's space. Okay. Well, I think we did pretty good. We had almost an hour fifty minutes in. So uh, give everybody you guys this contact information. Where can they find you at? Oh six nine. No. Nah, <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we <wait> one. <laughs> where, where can they find you at? Oh, and some chocolate uh, fella over there, you. My IG is that's all I got is EJ is back. That's EJ IZ back. Why why you do that? I'm this, this. Cause that's all I got. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I am Freeway TJ on Twitter and Instagram. Sometimes, if I'm not deactivating my shit, so. Okay, and then of course you guys are it be that way. <laughs> it be. <laughs> Hey man, fuck you, man. <laughs> oh, I love every time I hear that, I love it. It be like that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we do we do have a podcast. We uh-huh. haven't recorded, like we said earlier, um, in a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we, we we gonna get there. Yeah, I said, yeah, 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 we we're gonna get done. There. Yeah, we gonna get there. Uh, mm-hmm. That is, it's better this way. Podcast, IBTW podcast, uh, Gmail. I think. You said you created a Twitter and shit? <laughs> yeah, we are on Twitter as well as Instagram. <laughs> you can find the podcast, I, IBTW Podcast, on Twitter and Instagram. Why are you laughing like that? <laughs> you don't know. I don't just, be on Twitter. Just, but, but just follow the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to bring up the Twitter no more because I'm not active on that. Okay, but, that's it. Okay. Yeah. All right, anything you guys want to plug? Anything else? Nah, right thank now? you for having us because thank we ain't spoken on no microphones in a few months now. So it really has been, man. Thank you. Oh, and um, you ladies are dope. Thank you. I just want to say that you know what I'm saying thank like you. we really fuck. I you know I fuck with you, TJ. Fuck with you, and um, mm-hmm. you in ten. So mm-hmm. uh, keep doing what y'all doing, man. Thank you. This is y'all third time. Yes, sir. This is y'all third time on the oh, podcast. Yes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we fuck with y'all for real, for real. So thank you for coming out and spending time with me. Tan should be back. Next time, What's so up, it'll 10? be it'll be back to back to business then. So, um, okay. of course, I can find us at Hear You Podcast on everything. Um, Hear You Podcast is gmail.com gmail dot com. Um, y'all can find me at who that underscore breezy b r e e z y, and you can find her at Tana Taught You. Um, and I think that's it. Y'all have a good week. Bye. Salute. Yeah, I think they like a dog, bro.